Shut the f up, Lav. Lav, You're shut up. Off. Lav, off. shut the like f up, Lav. Shut the f up. You and that's why you feel confident. No, that's why you feel confident like, telling me what to do with my life. No, because no, you so think like, you have the answer. When you start talking about suicide or invoking yeah, the idea which of was my life to people, for literally 30 years and i f***ing got out of it i understand so, i understand no, no, you're shitting you over no, you're sh all of my recovery all over my I progress all this over is my not about therapy. you personally it is you it have is. now no you what have I, expanded what do I do? your I that was no. super inappropriate and kind of sexual <gasps> harassment oh, guys right. guys guys wait, chill wait, chill wait, wait, wait. I, to be clear i actually uh, hate you I, yeah, it's not a joke i i listened to uh a conversation that you had with britney and it feels like this is another problem I have with Britney. It uh -oh. feels like Britney comes on and it's like a dating show. She's like, I want to tell everyone exactly what I want in a human. How, how, I, I literally use the word human too. That's exactly how she'd say it. Human's mm -hmm. going to human. Um, how old is she? Um, I think she's like 32, maybe. I should know that. Yeah, interesting. And I know that she spent most of her life like un, unwell because she has like BPD or something. Okay. And I, I guess it's cool that she's having like all this like, thoughts about what she wants, but I still feel like it's a, uh, I don't know. I worry that she's coming on and being like, it, what I worry about with her platform, I'm gonna talk shit about Brittany now. Oh boy. What I worry about with her platform is that like, I don't know what her demographic is. I don't know if men or women follow her, mm -hmm. but I'm worried that like women are gonna think what she's doing. And like, I think I'm, I'm worried that women are gonna be like, oh, this is a prescription and I should also act like this because I'm like, okay, you're also gonna be alone in your 30s if you if you take this advice. Like a lot of what she's saying, I'm like, this is weird. I mean, um, I think she caveats a lot, but I mean, it's gonna depend. I'd have to listen to a particular stream segment to see if I agree or. Disagree. She caveats a lot, but also we like we aren't control we aren't in control of what like our viewers. Yeah, they can take know, messages like, from us even if we careful. don't want them to. Sometimes, right? Yeah, sure. Exactly. You have to be careful, and so I just feel like, yeah, I forget what she said during that conversation with you. That was just like, I need you're my favorite burden or whatever i was like what the fuck is this bitch talking about like you're my favorite burden and well, then i mean that i mean i would have to go back and listen to exactly oh, no, what no, it was, no. this is this is what it was this is what it was she no no no. she said there was that thing and then she said um fuck 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 it was like the most codependent statement i've ever heard in my life uh she was like oh she said that she wants someone so she she thinks that she's like enlightened she thinks that she's like the most enlightened person in the world, right? Okay, here now we're just, thinks, now we're farming shot to shit on Brittany. Okay, no, 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 okay. no. This is I because I want people to understand this. Is okay. that about how she, enlightened she thinks she is? Yeah. Well, no, and that's fine. If you if you want to feel like in, enlightened, that's like perfectly perfectly fine. It's none of my business. It's no it's nobody else's business, right? Okay. The problem is that when like in a relationship, if people are hearing this and are in Brittany's community or whatever, mm -hmm. in a relationship you cannot like wake someone up. So she said that like her reality is like so vast and beautiful and incredible and she sees so much and she's so introspective and she has like videos on how to tell like if your partner is introspective enough. And um, and then she said that she wanted someone else who is in that same reality. And I'm like, okay, so you want someone who is also mentally ill. Like, <laughs> that's what you're yeah, saying. I'm just letting you know, I disagree with all of these characterizations, but if you want to keep- Well, no, that's what about... she said. That's what she said. I don't think she wants somebody that's like mentally ill. No, she doesn't realize that it's mental illness. She doesn't. <laughs> okay. she well, doesn't she'd probably that disagree with you that it is. I okay, all right. She doesn't realize that this is literally BPD, and also to want to like wake a partner up. Uh huh. Like or the level system. Uh huh. Yeah. To want to wake people up to their like truest enlightened being. Okay. Is like the most codependent textbook behavior that you could that you could engage in with a partner to like wake them up or change them in like any way. You can set a boundary. I don't think she's looking for people to wake up. She, I don't think she wants to change a partner. I think no, she she's not looking. She's looking for people who are already awake, but yeah. I'm sure that she would try to wake someone up if they were almost perfect. I, I don't know. I don't know if she'd spend her time with that person. I, I truly don't know. You should ask her, you should talk to her. I don't know. I don't know if she's willing to talk to me after the way that I've spoken to her. Well, stop being mean about, about it. I thought you said you were on a panel with I'm her I'm not being on mean. Friday. Here's the thing also, like I think I'm, I'm also gonna, have a hard time in the streaming sphere of, of being honest and like keeping it real because mm -hmm. I'm very like blunt. But there are ways I you can phrase like, things without being an asshole. What do, what do you think I could do different in the way that I like? Do I disagree that? with Brittany's approach to relationships, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Like these are all valid statements you could say without being like, 
But I, I think like, she's mentally not... ill and she's trying to find someone else who's mentally ill and she doesn't realize that's it. also not fun at all. I wish that, yeah, I wish if that you want to have fun, just... that's fine, but just you be aware of the costs. Having mm, fun is going to come so. at the cost of, of people getting mad and shit at you and people taking she you out could of context. Completely, she could completely change my mind. I am also just like so poisoned by her, like by the well of like, and she also like, she del oh my god. She, the whole level system is so fucking crazy, and I can't believe that, like, any, like, I was talking to Not So Erudite, and she was like, she was like, ha ha ha, Max thinks she's running a sex cult, and I was like, because <laughs> I didn't want to, like, fight with Kyla about it, so I was just like, hee hee, yeah, that's so crazy. Um, but then but you how, were like, it's impossible she is not to think cult. that. Okay. Yes. Well, what is, a, what is a sex, what is a sex cult to you? Well, she's like having this like ex insane parasocial relationship with all of these people where they get to like see her naked or lewd on OnlyFans. And then also she's like interacting with all of them on her personal discord. And also she's creating all these videos for them. And she's saying that there's a level system, but also you can pay her more if you want to ascend to the highest level. It's like, Jesus Christ, this is like exactly what a fucking cult is. And then I was like, okay, well, I don't think that she's probably like you know, people who are questioning this, I hope that, I wonder what she's thinking then, or I wonder what she does when people question this. And I met someone, this girl, Layla, who uh -huh. went into that community, tried to question her about it, and she was blocked instantly. Because so she I'm asked like, her a question? I don't think that. Yes. I don't believe it. No, she literally tried to have like a discussion about it, and Brittany was just like, I don't want to fucking deal with this. And I'm like, ew, like what the fuck is wrong with her? I bet like, that girl was talking shit. Find me logs, no. I bet that's what happened. Absolutely. I, I don't I know. I trust it. Layla with my life. I trust her with my life. Shout out Layla. Uh -huh. But she's like part of not so erudite's community, I guess, mm -hmm. also. But I don't know. It's just, it's insane that like everyone was like so normal around this person. I actually like, I, I commend Max for having like a big discussion with her that is like, what the fuck are you doing? Because it's so unhealthy and it's so weird that she's like, I think she's like, She's preying on mentally ill people who like think that they can become better, but like with her prescriptions and she's she's like, I'm not a professional, but then she still like carries herself articulately and she like it's like, okay, do you even need Okay, listen, I can't I like I don't know what I'm supposed to I can't engage with your ideas. Obviously I disagree with you. Why? But you're just Why okay, so what do you disagree on? Uh I, I think I don't think that selling self help shit online makes you a cult leader or is like a necessarily bad action. Um, if you know of some things that she said or done that are like uniquely bad in terms of like, I don't think she should give this type of advice or whatever, then we can like critique those things. But if I don't have access to those things, I don't know what the fuck I'm even supposed to critique. Yeah. Oh, oh my God, Dan. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, Here to shit on. Well, I mean, Brittany. I was interested in what's going on. <laughs> I'm happy you're here, Dan. I wanted to do, I wanted to do a couples therapy with us because I I watched you say that you didn't like me and it made me sad. Um, no, I said that I was reserving my opinions until I've been exposed more. I said that I didn't like Brittany. Oh well, Stephen just told me that you didn't like me. Well, he was probably not wrong after amount of time, <laughs> but you know we'll, we'll we'll see. I mean, so far, you know. But look, I think really, how do I put this? I think what's going on, I think for a lot of chatters, I think they would actually be a fan of you, but what's happening is that they assume that you um, agree with a lot of the stuff that Brittany says. None of it. Uh, well, I mean, it seems like you guys are like really good friends. Are you like, I mean, are you on the same page or what with the stuff she does? No, I think it's disgusting. I think that what she does is like, yeah, and I also, yeah, I think that putting, uh, listen, I think that I probably want to have like a similar vibe and where I'm like, you know, let's help each other learn things. But I think that the way that she propositions herself above that is completely unethical. Like she's like the master and can tell you everything right. Mm -hmm. And also the fact that she has like a paywall also really grosses me out. And the fact that she also has a sexual aspect where you can buy that. And I get that she's a businesswoman and she's doing all these extra things and they could not be connected. But the problem is that like, even if she doesn't intend it to be that way, that's like how it is becoming. And even if I want to be like, you know, even if I want to talk about mental health and stuff, I'm never going to put it behind a paywall. I'm never going to pay people for my time. To be and clear, real I'm, quick, she doesn't put her mental health talks behind a paywall. It's her coaching Steve, stuff. Steve, can you stop fucking running interference? We understand. I'm not running interference. I'm just telling you to be clear. If you're going to just okay, like shit things on my platform, let's be correct about it. No, I mean, she's just giving her opinions. So what do you, what are the like, 
in your opinion, what are the most dangerous things that she does? Like, what <laughs> oh is like, God. like what is what does she really deserve to be punished for? Essentially, like, or like, what's the most disgusting thing to you about what she's doing? The fact that she has a level system, she has self prescribed herself at the top of it, and that she gets to tell people coming to her that they are like a level two or one. And then she also said that like level one should be like exterminated. I don't think she said that. She literally did. Hold on. I, You're what? literally using the word literally said, incorrectly. No, no, no. She said she said if a one died, nobody would care. Something. And then okay, that's cool. Something different. Something more. And my thing is like, like okay, what if someone is a level one to you and like not a level one in the grand scheme of things? Like, who the fuck are you to tell someone? It's what like the very fuck they like. Are? It's very like Hitler like type of stuff unironically. Dude, it, it's weird oh, it's not well i mean you think it's just weird that's it you just ascribe weirdness to it is there any maliciousness you feel or well here's the thing also because i think that i i i think that she genuinely is like wow i found something that works for me and i'm gonna prescribe it but i also i so on its face if i'm just looking at the way that she probably sees it she probably thinks that she is helping people. The problem is that like, there's two problems. One of the problems is that like, there's potentiality for a lot of harm. And the second problem is that she is smart enough to know that. Like, she is smart enough to know that these people like really care about what she thinks and she like loves it. She like revels in it. Um, and I feel like that is like, what What I feel is that like, Britney is a narcissist and she like loves getting all this attention and she loves being able to prescribe people things based on nothing, based on like her own experience of her mental illness. Mm -hmm. And that just feels really gross. Uh, but I don't think she's evil, but that's because I'm not like a moralist. Like I don't believe in evil people. Well, if you did believe like in that stuff, is like the profiting the worst part about it? Or is it just the fact that this exists in the first place? I think both, but definitely the fact that it exists in the first place. Cause even if she wasn't profiting off of it, this is a very toxic way to go into relationships as a whole. Like if you think that like, if you think that you're better, she like said that her brother or something was a one. And I'm like, how disgusting is it that like you are thinking that you are like better than everyone in your life? Like that is like, that is a poison that is infecting you. And now you are like putting that poison in other people. So that's my, that's my take. Hmm. hmm. Have you talked with her much? Not Never at all. Never yet. But man, when they talk, it's gonna be fireworks. Not, We're gonna not... talk on Friday, but it's about sex work. Oh, what a boy! That's so completely out of character for the two of you guys. <laughs> well, do, yeah. do you see what I was doing there? It's because all you guys talk about is this and relationships nonstop. I was making a joke. I got you, Dan. But but not not really joking. Actually, quite it's actually literally true. That I, do you think that I talk about relationships a lot? I have during this call. He means what like sex think? work and relationships, yeah. Oh 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 oh, yeah. I mean, I've talked about sex work because I just mm -hmm. quit like four days ago. I think that I'll kind of start to move on. Mm -hmm. But sex work is like I, her Doctor K, you know. <laughs> Yeah, no, sex work is my doctor care right now. And I, and even though, like, I feel like people are getting the wrong idea also. If you want to go into sex work and if, if you want to go in, uh, into OnlyFans, it's obviously, like, a lot safer, a lot better for women to go into OnlyFans instead of, like, in-person work, right? And it makes it, like, way more accessible and, and whatever. But there are obvious harms. And I, and I want to overstate those harms because I think people are understating them. And that's it. Um, but obviously, I know that I can't save everyone. So what... what objections do you think Brittany is going to have when you launch your criticisms at her? <laughs> like how, how will how will she defend herself well i think that i have a very big problem with the parasocial aspect of only fans mm -hmm. um and i think that she loves it she's like i these are all my friends these are and i'm like no they fucking aren't like these are not people like you can't all these can't pe these people can't be your friends and then you also prescribe them a fucking number like and they also look at you as like She's too smart to not realize that people are looking up to her, not looking like at her. You know what I mean? Like they're not leveled because she's a fucking content creator. Um, so I think that the parasocial aspect, I'm gonna be like, listen, you're talking to like a bunch of dudes maybe, or even girls who are like giving you money. And you're like, 
interacting with them. And I think that that's unethical. Like, I think that almost like if there was a perfect world where you could watch like a Brazzers video, not interact with these women, but I don't know. I don't know. Because we also know that the parasocial aspect of porn makes you safer. You like know, men are less likely to like dehumanize you. But let me, let me tell you, I think what most people are probably expecting is going to happen on your conversation is that you guys are just going to be weak sauce and be friends and be nice to each other and walk away and be like, oh, that was a great conversation. And I think that that's like a real... Dan it's wants fireworks. Part. That's what he no, wants. No, well, I mean, I'm being honest with you. If you're passionate about it, let's see some passion. If you're fucking weak sauce and you actually don't care about this stuff, then just let her get away with that, all the stuff that you think is evil. So sure. that's the whole thing. There's too much, you know, the problem is like too many people come out here saying that they care about morals, say that they're fucking passionate about something. And then the second that someone else comes on with the opposite view, you're like, oh, hey, what's up? How you doing? Oh, yeah, that's great. Oh, I saw your tweet the other day. Fuck that. This person is supposedly is completely against everything you are, com you know, doing these massive harms in what? You're going to just be friendly? Like, where's your rage? You where's know your that fucking that's not anger? me. You know oh, that well, that's not me. I, I was we'll see. We'll see how fucking mad that there is, because I've seen some fucking... You're baiting me. Okay. I mean, you can say I'm baiting you, but I mean, everyone in chat is expecting you to, guys to be fucking, like, best friends and having a nice, like, civil conversation. And then we'll all know that none of you guys are passionate about this and you don't give a shit about it at all. And that's what we'll know at that well, point. Well, here's the thing is that, like, also, I mean, if she was, like, right here right now, I would... I would rather do that than like, I've been invited on to Kyla's panel mm -hmm. and I don't want to make it about our beef. You know what I mean? Or I don't want to make it about all the things I disagree with her on. Mm -hmm. Like it's a pa it's a panel about sex work and I want to be respectful to Kyla and not derail. I see. So, so you're like, if, you're like fishing for outs already, basically. No, I'm not fishing for outs, but I, I think that I- Let me, let me ask you I'm this. You want to you wanna be, you're, you're moving to Twitch and you want to be big on Twitch. Do you think that like being nice and friendly and respectful is going to help you like get ahead and be huge? Or do you think that you want to make fucking waves and have clips of you going around on TikTok that are Dan, going viral because you're so fucking based? Dan, well, here's yeah. the thing. Here's the thing, Dan. So obviously we know that I'm not that person because of the way that I was getting on Madame Genevieve, right? Like we know that I'm not that person. How you were has no basis on how you can be if you care about something. <laughs> no, I do, but here's, I also don't, I also really like Kyla, so I don't want to be disrespectful. If you could find her right now and I could argue with her right now, I would. Hold on. But I just, Let, let's see stand if by, available. stand by five. <laughs> Steve is probably pretty good at moderating. He is kind of a cuck though, so we'll see. Yeah, who, who which one of us do you like better, Steven? <laughs> Come on, I'm 33. I know not to answer the question. The answer, that fucking I'm, stupid. On, hold on, I'm gonna be honest with you. You know the answer is Brittany because he's been around Brittany more and he's had more conversations with her. But I like you more right now, so we'll see who comes out more on top moving forward. Oh, you're like our wait, Pokemon. Wait, 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 Steven. Fuck Mary, kill me. Stop. No, I'm not. And Max. <laughs> I'm not. No, I'm not playing that game. I'm too smart for that. Okay. I'm too smart. I'm too old. I've seen too much. Okay. <laughs> no, chat, chat. Tell him. You to know what? Let me pull up. Actually, him. I'm gonna do. A, let me do a poll real quick because I feel like chat likes you more right now. But if you're a beta bitch, it might go down. But let me do a poll real quick and DGG. Oh my God, she's fucking high. Brittany, just collect your thoughts. That's another thing. I feel like people who smoke weed uh -oh. are- yeah. <laughs> Look, are you looking at this poll in DGG here? That's you, Lev. This is where you say yes or no. Oh no, I, I'm not, I'm not. Okay, so I typed a poll in chat that went out to 6,000 people. And right now, I basically asked, who do you like more currently? And you're winning 63 to 37. Okay. Those I are like good that stats. Number to be better. <laughs> Wait, what? I mean, what do you mean? You're winning two thirds to one third. And, and yeah, but the, I want it to be extreme. I want people the, the, to like the me way more. Well, the, here's the thing one is that your challenger has historic um, history here. Historic history, the most historic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, they've been they've been part. they've been around. Okay, so you're on their turf to a certain extent. They've been here more okay. often. Brandy's gonna be here in ten minutes. Okay, so do you want to do any little debate prep here? I want to see you get fired up. Honestly, if you want to be, I mean, you know how many careers have been launched from DGG. This is not a fucking meme. <laughs> Shut I'm not joking. Up, and I'm telling you God, right now. If you, you fucking, if you impress with this debate, this is huge for you. 
But if you're some fucking weak sauce, vanilla, woo woo, we're all friendly shit, say goodbye. I don't know what to tell you at that point. But you can impress me. You can become a fan favorite overnight. Right now, you're hated. And that's a challenge. Because <laughs> you got some things going against you that can't be changed. But that said... <laughs> what do you mean by that? What kind of things, Dan? Well, DGG is, you know, kind of a little bit... Lately, uh, a little bit incelly. But that's fine. You can be their hero. You can be the I'm not like other girls girl today. Oh, I don't want to be that girl. I want, Well, no, I don't... I believe in you. And the step one is fucking having passion about it. You care about this issue? Uh, yeah, I care about people taking advantage of other people. How much do you care about it? I care about it a lot. A lot? Or like, you know, I care about it Twitch a lot. Because if you care a lot, that's something that like, you're gonna fucking go out there and like make a difference and change some things, okay? But if it's like some weak sauce, like, you know, I care a lot, that's like, I care a lot about like, fucking rust. That's not that much, okay? You need to really show it and put it on the line because that's what's going to make things happen here. Here's the thing is that I fear that Brittany, Brit I know that the type of communicator Brittany is and she's like very evasive and very like friendly. And you like, can hold her to the coals. You got to talk over when she goes and says, no, answer what I just said. You, why are you dodging? I, don't, I didn't ask you about this. Tell me X. You need to assert yourself and do it. Now I'm on your side here. I'm giving you these tips. Okay, but that's, it's gonna be challenging for you because you're gonna wanna have this friendly back and forth. Wait, and Dan, are you gonna be here with me? I mean, I'll be here listening in, but I'm listening not a participant. In? Well, I'll be in the Why? Discord. I'll, I'm gonna be because here in the you Discord know, call. You know, more about, you know more about her than I do. Well, this is not my fight to fight. I don't well, give is. a shit about, no, I don't give a shit about Oh, so work. you don't really care about when people wrong people? Sex workers? <laughs> you don't care about sex workers? <laughs> I mean, this is not, I care about starving kids in Africa. Personally, I understand that you have put those below sex workers, but that's fine. You do you. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. You're sending me to the wolves. Like I know that, that nope. Steven is going to simp for Brittany. No, nope, he's going to stay neutral the whole way. Cause the thing I is, Brittany it. is, Brittany is more, I'm telling you, honestly, you need all the help you can get. Cause Brittany is going to be an experienced debater and you are a virgin debater. So you need to fucking, you need to possibly cry scream yell like any points that you can do to like throw her off guard or things that are going to really fucking help you okay <gasps> i hope you realize dan is just dan. here to drama farm no, no i'm well i mean i'm here to give you a chance lav to make a name for yourself oh god this is, now there's so much pressure i need to take a klonopin need a what a klonopin that's a the technical name for clonazepam Oh, yes. yeah, nice. You guys are all on your fucking tranks and shit? Okay. Or what is that? Yeah, I Use guess it's a, it's uh, a, yeah, it's a sedative. It's, it's a used for tinnitus. Ringing in is the it? ears. Yeah. My dad's oh. been taking it for 30 years. I oh my god. I told him I couldn't sleep well, and he was like, want me to send you some benzos? And I was like, um, no. Jesus Anyways. Christ, that is a long time to take a benzo. He should, he should be careful. <laughs> After so, 30 years, it's probably a little late for that one, Chief, but... Yeah. I don't know, the, the brain re rewires itself constantly. The brain is one it, of the, the most... The danger is probably not taking it now. Oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah, especially if you stop abruptly. I know that Jordan Peterson was on Kalanapin for a while. All right, hold on. Steven. What? You know that Brittany is really good at debating, and I don't think Lav is, so how else can you help Lav or protect her or give her a fighting chance because it's going to be hard for Max her. Max needs to be here also. <laughs> apparently, um, apparently Brittany is super high, so you'll have a thing. Uh, you'll have that advantage. That could be, that could be a false flag. She might be completely not high, yeah. designed Stone to... Stone cold sober, actually. Well, still, even that said, even at a handicap, <sighs> I feel like Lav needs some... Damn, you're, that Lav is that fucked, huh? <laughs> Well, what, what, what do you, they're completely polar opposites on this issue and they both are extremely passionate about it. It's like their life's work. So, I mean, it's going to be crazy and we want to make sure that Lav is able to stay on topic. So what suggestions do you have for her? I'm not here to take a side between these two. Okay. It's not about taking sides. It's about giving, we want a proper debate. We don't want one person to get crushed and not I'm get not those ideas out there. The gods don't fit either fucking, opponent. It's up to you them see to this? He just wants to keep his options open. That's really what it is. I'm not here to favor anybody. Okay. I'm an impartial moderator. I feel like I should have 
watched Max and Brittany's video more. Oh, is uh, Max online? Get him online. Why do you why do you guys do this? I see you. I'll give him a little ping. Hey, babe, Normally are you awake? That. I've been bored for five hours all day today doing nothing, and now all of you come on at once. Why didn't you guys come on earlier in chat? Because you were... I was doing something else, to be honest. Hey, everyone out there that has a Twitch account, I know you're not subscribing to anyone else because Steve doesn't have a Twitch account, so give it to me. Dan can't stream. All one word. Just Bro. send it over. Or how about my wife, Melina? Okay, we should. Yeah, fuck money. her. She's a fucking millionaire, and so are you. Jesus Christ. So are you. You're a mega millionaire. Get the fuck out of here, you fucking loser. <laughs> well, but then I'm the poorest person here. Everyone you're not getting any more. You, you you stop. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, you have impress to earn us, it. Impress us tonight, and then we'll talk. Okay. This is ridiculous. This is oh. female oppression, and I won't stand for it. We need you in the Discord. Lab wants to kill Brittany and doesn't think she can do it alone. Are you free? Who is this? Mr. Girl? Yeah. Max. Ah. So anxiety provoking. Nah, you got it. You got it. Hey, yeah. take off that hat though. Okay, that makes you look weak. I know like it does. Not... All right, get rid of it, okay? Do you have any makeup that can make you look angry? <laughs> I'll just do my eyebrows like angry. Yeah, yeah, okay, real quick. Like anything you can do to make yourself look more vicious, you need to do that right now. I, I feel like the black hair is like, a, maybe I could put on like a black hoodie so I just look- Just be quick, 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 serious. You gotta do this serious, all right? Remember, this is your chance to go viral. But how you look right now, oh this my is God, what's gonna get spread. Man, you're killing me. I'm about to have a panic attack. I don't know what, would you prefer I didn't say it, okay? So this is shit like this is what happened when Sneeko fucking blew up, okay? Something like this, all of a sudden, you were not, you were just hanging out and then boom, 300,000 views overnight on, wow. on TikTok. What's what's new? Men penning, pinning women against each other. Oh, she's already backing out, Dan. <laughs> Do you hear it? Uh-oh. There we go. You look well, Brittany, hello. Hi, I'm, can you hear me okay? Am Loud and clear. I'm pretty baked. What's going on? I was watching Shark Tank, but this sounded much more interesting. Are they still <laughs> making new episodes of Shark Tank? I don't know, we're watching season 11 and I'm here for it. Oh my gosh, wait guys, guys. Yep. I need to get up to get my water. I have, it's so important, it's so important. This is very serious, I'll, I'm taking it very serious. Okay. Are you ready? Wow, pleasantries with her already? Steven? Yeah. Well, I'm just here to, okay. just here to listen. Yeah, you're showing yeah. yourself. Yeah. Stop okay. being such a sellout, Steven. What's All going right. on? So I'm gonna set the stage. So this is kind of like an impromptu conversation. So I think the two of you guys have some pretty radical um, different views on um, a few things when it comes to sex work and how that's gonna go. And really a lot of DGG and also um, you know, just pretty much people in Twitch politics are kind of confused as to, I don't want to say like the best path forward, but really like we're getting mixed signals here and we need you guys to, I don't want to say duke it out, but at least discuss what's going on here so we can kind of make our decision about what's I'm going sorry, on. Are we, are we the only people, like are we deciding the fate of sex work right now? Yes. Oh. I thought it was supposed okay. to be personal beef, Dan. Now it's just gonna well, be sex I mean, work. Oh. Well, we'll see if they actually well, not matter. About personal, it. not that there's no personal. Beef oh, so it, it's not. Oh, oh, there it is. What's up, Lav? Let me want me. Let me go take Dude, a Dude, you guys are right so now. fucking annoying. There's no personal beef. We don't know. Oh, see, there. to me personally, if Steve was like, "Hey, Dan, uh, I don't like uh, your wife," I would take that personally. Okay, but I guess if you're not very passionate about these issues, that might not be personal to you guys. Passion, so to you, passion, oh, I understand. Wait, 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 I understand. For both of you guys, of, sex different. work isn't really passionate about. You got, this is just some like, you know, it's like working at a 7-Eleven or something. It's just, I'm just doing it, man, you know, until something better comes along. Okay, you know? fine. All right. Fuck you. All right, yeah, show me what's I have, what. I have some, I have some serious, okay, we're gonna be on Kyla's panel together. And yeah. I guess I didn't want it to get derailed. Dan really wants us to fight, so here we are. I want you to tell us, the audience, there's 10,000 people watching right now that don't know where to think on this sex work issue. And you have the opportunity 
to tell us in your own words if we should lean to this direction or this direction. Now go and, and put your points forward. Okay, so Lav, really fast, I'm so sorry. What is your position on sex work? Uh, my position is that it is like poten the potentiality for harm is like too good, is too great to like advocate this to women. Um, okay. And yeah. also uh, the potentiality for harm like parasocially with like the men who are buying is also not something to like glamorize or romanticize. For and sure. I also I also have some other ideas around like I know that you're like a, a BDSMer. I'm like very I wouldn't call myself anti BDSM. Oh, she is anti BDSM, that's but, true. But I would call myself highly critical of it. I'm highly critical of it too. But I also don't care. Uh -oh. Wow, this conversation has been amazing. <laughs> and no, I I think like you care a lot, right? But you care in a specific way. You care for the everyone, the general, the all. And I care for the few, the forgotten, the one. So I think like I'm just more individual and you're more group, which is great. I think they're what both do you mean good. The, what do you mean the forgotten? Um, I feel like these are like underground communities that have gone mainstream and now the mainstream is trying to dictate what underground communities should be doing, but they were underground in the first place because the majority didn't represent them. And so they want mainstream notoriety, they want to be seen and they want to be like understood and at the same time they struggle because the majority sucks and doesn't understand them. I don't know, I just, I feel like we have a really skewed and un, we just Stand don't really, them. yeah, we don't understand each other. But why do you think people need to understand BDSMers? Like what is there to be understood? Nothing more than people should have bodily autonomy. I think it's that simple. I don't so what, is bod what does that mean to you? What is autonomy to you? Like agency, you have a consciousness and you have free will. And I think you have the right to live your life how you want. Sure, but when, when we're giving, so if someone's like, obviously like addicted to a drug, they have autonomy to like get back on that drug that's gonna hurt them, but they should sure. have the freedom to, and you shouldn't warn them whether or not to get on the drug. You should just be like, yep, do it. And even sure. encourage it. Sure, well, spend your one life on earth preaching to people. I don't care, but like- Well, that's what ha that's, that's how you spend your life actually. So I think that's interesting. Right, sure, do it. I don't care, It's it doesn't matter. But I'm saying I do it because it doesn't matter. You're doing it because you think it matters. Because it does, there's no way for it not to matter. I know that you think that this is like a blase thing that you can do, but it's not because you have a platform. I guess, look, this is your one life and then you're gonna die, bro. So a part of me is just like, accept that we are born and we exist and make the best out of it. And some people, that's sex work. And taking it away from them is pretty fucked up. We have like, no, I'm not wanting to, I'm not advocating to take it away from them. So you um, just wanna tell them they could hurt, or no, hurt also, them? No, so also we have one life, so we need to make sure that we like are living it like to the best of our ability. According and sometimes that like- who? Who? So the according- individual. Period. Sure. Okay, so people should just be able to do as many fucking drugs as they can. Yes, God bless America, bitch. What's the point of existing if I can't like do what I want? What is literally okay, so the we, point? Okay, but what about those people who are like falling down those pipelines and like die? We don't care about those forgotten people, only the people who are like, no, okay, I'm a slut, I love all, it. So you're like, you're like, okay, I feel you. I totally feel you. But everyone dies, everyone falls in love, everyone gets their heart broken. Life with suffering is a life well lived. Be smart and be strategic and learn from your mistakes. But like, what's the point of existing if you don't live your life and take a few risks? I don't get it. I feel like people could be living like much better lives if they're like- I argue they're... it is a better life. I'm so much more happy, like I'm happy every day. And this was my path, so good enough Okay, for but, me. What about, but what about me? Like I'm not happy every day and I've fallen into and pipelines. Fair, you need to find a journey that's good for you, girlfriend. So pick, oh, should I, like, should I invest in your level system? No, 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 oh. it sounds like it wouldn't work for you because it sounds like you're on a different personality like journey. So like you have to find- so who would it work for? for you. Wait, what level is Lav right now? If you had to guess. Yeah. You can be honest. I mean, if it's a fucking one, just say it's a one, but like we need yeah, to hear it. What? Obviously not. I don't know her well enough. So to be a one, you'd have to be useless to yourself and your community at the same time. It's very- Well, it sounds like that's what you're literally saying she is, but maybe no, I'm mishearing. No, not at all, because there is a bubble, there's a reality for people where Lav is the like, whoa, like, yes, that makes sense to me. So there are people like her, so she should be thriving with those humans. Which is what, the twos? Um, maybe. Maybe the twos, so you're a two, well, Lav. 
Well, it doesn't make sense because you're insinuating that a guy couldn't hold that opinion. I'm not saying her opinion. There's not an opinion. There's not really an opinion that's a two opinion, but there is a why that's a two why. Like her reasoning is what makes the level. Not Do you have all of this like written opinion. down, or is this just like how you? Just in my head. That is fucking insane. <laughs> is it? Isn't it just yeah, like any artist? I actually, it's, it's actually, actually like I, harmful, no, 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 no. right? I actually think that's heinous. Like heinous. I actually think it's like I concur. I actually think that's that's crazy that you do that. <laughs> so like, no, what expertise you are you working that. off of? What um, expertise are you working off of? There is no expertise. That's just like being just mentally person. ill for your whole life. Oh whoa! No, I'm just a person. I'm just a person. No, no, I get it. It's very funny. Haha, ha, make fun of the mentally ill girl. But it's so boring too, right? Like what you're doing. No, I'm just... also mentally ill. I'm saying, but I would no, never prescribe you... people that they are better than other people or less than other people. Is the only I don't do that way. either. Just because no, you don't but you do. It. No, I don't. Objectively, I don't. It's subjective. Did you not? Did you not say that like ones like no one would care if they died? I did not say that. What did you say about it? Because I'm I'm pretty sure that you I've said that. I've never like, said that ever. Um, How is I feel that like possible? someone can buy a clip? Girlfriend, wait, girlfriend. Eight billion people on the planet, and I would make a statement of all people would never mourn the death of an ex person. I thought I think you said they're so useless that they can't even kill themselves. Yeah, Max, that is correct. Okay. okay. And no, 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 Max. That's so different than what she. That's. Yeah, Wait, hold on. If that's what she said, that's a lot different than they should all die, or nobody would miss How them. How the they fuck die, is that? Clear. Like, dude, colloquially, that's it. that reads the exact fucking same. Not even remotely close. Okay. Yeah, you're just simping. You're just simping. I well, don't know. I, th I, I don't know if you're going across over. As, it does come across as nobody would care if you died, even if you're not literally saying that. I think. I think. Brittany I've never said that, and I've always. I know said you haven't. That you haven't. You haven't care okay. Very much if my one died. That's why I don't want anyone yes, to bother him. Yes. Okay. He's my I, responsibility. I, I. I understand, but you chat, can also chat. see how. Feel if you were. No, you, you say you understand. Feel you if you were one. Wait. Okay. Hold on. Don't interrupt each other. Okay. Let's be reasonable. Okay. Let's try okay. to be real. Chat, chat, how would you feel if you were- Wait, we're not talking- hold on! We're not here- wait, we're not here to talk to chat. We're here to talk to each other. Well, I'm- I'm polling. Okay. I'm pull- I'm We're not polling chat. You can't poll my chat. So no, you're we're okay, not okay. polling. The feeling- the Let's feeling just... you get when somebody says- when somebody says, um, you're so useless, you can't even kill yourself. Which is probably similar to the feeling you'd get if somebody said nobody would care if you died. And they are different sentiments, so you may believe one and not the other, but I think we're talking about how that affects the people who hear it. I don't think I am. I think I'm talking in the way that the people who aren't um, out of sync with their body and their communities can understand so we can have empathy and compassion for those people who are out of sync. <laughs> are you saying I'm so out of sync? So it's up to you who's body? in sync. I, again, I asked yeah. you what expertise you have. I, I told you, I'm not arguing that I am. Girl, we're YouTubers, we're nobodies. We're literally nobodies. No, but people, no, but the difference is that like people don't pay me to get a prescription for their life. Like that's the difference. I don't, they don't pay me to get a prescription for theirs. I'm confused. Wait, they don't pay you to get your help to enlighten them? I'm confused. I thought that no. that was. No, I'm not, I don't, I think guru is a two concept given to the world to have like a hierarchy of like, oh, these people are important and they can help me. Duh. I don't. Literally, I'm just a YouTuber. Say it with me. Brittany Simon is a YouTuber. Wait, so and what you is- you guys taking me seriously is- I'm sorry, it's so funny. Because you guys are making me bigger than I am. I'm literally a nobody. I shouldn't even be here. What am I doing here? You're it's here to just defend about, yourself. Listen, Dan. <laughs> Dan has been this training lab for the. Best, Dan has been training lab for the best twenty Steven, minutes to assassinate you, it's and now no. you're fighting. No, That's not hasn't. true. Here's the issue. At the end of the day, I think you guys have radically different views on sex work, and you both claim to be incredibly passionate about it. But when it comes to this, I just see kind of weak sauce kind of responses back and forth. Like if you care about this, like make a difference. Convince us, the viewers of what is the future of sex work, essentially. How should it, is it harmful? What's happening right now? Why are you now? trying Should to pull this change? conversation back to the most boring possible area? Because it's where every, you know, Steve? No, oh, that part, that, I think that the more interesting part is the part where you're like, you, I, I'm, I'm, it, I think it's insane that you just said that I was like a two. And I think that it's crazy that you would put people in your own life below you as a one. I think that that's really gross. Okay. I totally get that. And I hope you that, wait, wait like, you don't get to just say I get that. You have like, to comment. Why? That's what she's saying. No. She gets it. She understands. No, it's like, I'm like, hey, That's you're being I'm an right. asshole. And you're like, oh yeah, man. Hey, bro, like, yeah, bro, an bro, asshole. Bro, Whoa. Bro, 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 bro. 
hear me out, hear me out. Like, don't you understand? Like, to me, you just sound like my mom, who's like, Betsy, I love you even though you're a bisexual. It's like, okay, I don't, I don't know what you're saying. Oh, what you're like, doing is like potentially abusive, though. So, like, if you put people below you and then you put and then you tell other people it's to like, not a hierarchy, put girlfriend. Girl- listen, listen, listen. listen. Yes, it's it not is. A no, yes, it is. No, girlfriend. Wait, what are, I'm trying to wait, tell can you. Can somebody you catch me up? Me. What, 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 what's going on? Okay, so I Lab was in here. I can catch you all up. Okay, so Lab was in here earlier, and then she was talking to me about stuff, and then she Steven, started. You're gonna fuck shit up right now. I'm not just fucking message, shit up. I'm just catching people up. Girl. Explain it. No, no I want everybody to be caught up so that we all know okay. what's going on, and because Brittany doesn't Go even know ahead. what's going on. Lab is apparently forgetting who's what's going on. Okay. Can you yeah, tell me what's going on and tell me whose side I'm on? Okay. Yeah, you're probably on Lab's side. Okay, but we'll see. Okay. Okay. Um, it's confusing, okay. okay? This is like the end of The Boys Season 3, okay? Nobody knows how this is going to end, all right? So okay. what's going on is Lab was here talking to me about personal relationships, et cetera, et stuff, and then she started veering into the anti britney territory, okay? Now, obviously, Ooh. this brings Dan out. Um, I say I'm not really that comfortable discussing Britney stuff when she's not here because I'm just going to have somebody shitting on her, and then Dan came in, and Dan is like, Lav, you got some strong opinions about Britney, her cult, the level system, sex work. You need to be prepared to destroy her. This is your TikTok viral moment is the annihilation of Brittany Simon on stream who Dan hates he's invested in this and then Dan was also saying I don't know if Lav can do it alone she's like a beginning debater Brittany's got she's a level five she's got her powerful bubble surrounding her like it's you know so now so now the the we need to bring in Mr. Girl maybe to back up Lav here because Mr. Girl also knows that Brittany is like a Nazi cult leader person and then Brittany's here she's a little high but she got some water so she's good I'm here playing the absolutely neutral moderator and Lav is fighting with uh, Brittany while Dan is egging everything on and that's where we're at right now okay, that's so, what's going on right now so okay. lav, lav what's the game plan here what are you what are you saying what are, what are, so what are we trying to dan, do dan dan really wants to make this about sex work and like our differing opinions and we can talk about that but i also think want? that what's why don't we so, just go back to how much you hate so, each other then do you so shut just go up there? dan sh- 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 please so you lav. so so i'm going on a panel with Brittany on friday and i didn't want anything to be i didn't want my anger to come out in that panel because i wanted to be respectful to kyla what are you angry about I'm angry that Brittany. You want to be respectful to Kyla. <laughs> okay, what are you angry about? <laughs> I will. I'm. I'm. Wait, angry what's that the joke Brittany... there? <laughs> Sorry, keep going. Kyla's a person. I don't understand what's going on. That's not so erudite. Wait. Don't worry. Okay, keep going. Sorry. I'm Continue. sorry. Love, love. Can wait. I ask a rude question? Are, oh, wait, are you yes. a Twitch streamer? Like, who are you? Yes, oh. I don't know who uh, you yeah. are. I'm so sorry. Kyla introduced me to you, and that's how I know that we. It's have a, a Thanos Friday. meme. I don't even know who you <laughs> so are. So I'm. So lab, I wait, am wait, a new. Wait, 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 lab, lab, Don't, don't answer this. Hey, okay. if I'm your sorry. lawyer here, I want to just know what are you angry about. <laughs> don't let her distract you. Um. What are you angry about? Well, I, I, I'm an influencer, and then okay. I turned to Twitch, lab. uh, like, a week ago, and I'm getting some traction. Cool. Okay. Okay. Um, welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, I, I hope this is the right uh, line of work for a two. Um, it's the right line nice. of work for everybody. Nice. <laughs> Lef, what are you angry about? I'm angry that she, well, I was angry that she prescribes like a, a worldview that is like diseased to multiple what people. Does that, what does that make you angry? Because I think that she's taking advantage of people who are looking for help. Okay. And is there something else you're, you said you were? And now I'm angry right? because she's like, mm, I'm just a person. Humans are following me. I'm nobody. And I'm like, okay, but you're not propositioning yourself that way. So it just feels like it feels like she's being slippery and very like blase about it. Okay, and I don't think it's something to be blase about. She's, you know she's really taking funny? a she's taking a position of like human no, authority, listen, but then when no, challenged no, on listen, it, she says, hey, I'm, right okay, I'm just I'm I'm just, I'm just a human. Hey, Lab no, is supposed I'm to be on your side, Mr. Girl. What the fuck? Yeah, Mr. Girl is ironing out her Okay, Mr. Girl's ironing out her position so that they're in a better place. Wait, hold on, Brittany. They gotta get their case together. One sec. Wait, so 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 Lab, so the position yeah, your position is Brittany says, I'm a guru, come to me for advice, pay me for advice, I'll tell you how to live, and then when you challenge her on it, she says, oh, I'm a nobody, so there's no, there's nothing to challenge me on. I'm just a YouTuber, we're all losers. But then right after she says that, she says, well, who the fuck are you, Miss oh, Bitch, Miss that- Thang? The rest of us are Twitch streamers, so who are you? So we're seeing a shifting kind of- uh, Goalposts, move. Shifting goal, well, shifting like barometer for whether somebody has a, a, uh, an ability to say stuff about the world, I guess. Yeah, let me switch okay. headphones Shifting levels really of quick. authority. Okay. okay. Well, this is not going to make us look very good, Lab. I really wish you weren't doing this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You don't want to yeah. be seen fucking. You around can't be. You can't be weak. It's a sign of weakness. You right. have to be is ready to Brittany's, go. Brittany's dancing. 
Yeah, it's like she doesn't even care that she's here. God damn it, put your fucking gate face on! You, Fuck! You just, tor you just torpedoed her case. Ah, shit. Spotify on, do you guys mind? I'm gonna turn my iPad You see how little she cares? I got, I got Use that against her. Use this that is, against her. She's not passionate. Need, She's faking. No, I can't. I can't because it will come in our streams. I Brittany, hate Brittany, did you make up this today. level system when you were high? Well, hell, hold uh, on, that would make That's more not, sense. Wait, wait, wait. Lab, Stop. Lab, hold on. Lab. One at a time. Jesus fucking Christ. Lev, I don't think we should uh, go down this avenue. Right. You can. I have all the answers. I'm not retarded. I know what my fucking no, no. system is. I'm Why not, are you guys uh, acting like I'm fucking retarded? No, no. What is this Brittany. script? I'm not I'm acting so like you're retarded. Bored. I'm acting like you're a formidable. Uh, I'm acting like you're a formidable opponent. Then, then we'll be accountable as an adult. And let me okay. answer it. Okay. Well, so so I think our first our, our first thing that we want to push forward, our, our, the case we're presenting is, do you agree that sometimes you present things as though you're an authority, but then when challenged on the thing you presented, you say, well, not, I'm not an authority. None of us are authorities. It's all just fun and games. But there's a lot of fucking money involved, so it's not just fun and games. What do you say I to understand that? that I speak okay. in sentence structures that end in a, like a period. So you all <coughs> hear me speak with a, like an authority voice because I am in my masculine. I totally feel you. But That's like, not what I'm referring to. Like I'm, I'm referring, to, I'm referring no, to you listen, charging listen, people money to give you life yourselves, advice. you you are projecting onto me. You know what you're doing here. So you think I'm doing the same thing you're doing. Is this dark I'm not no, no. Is this like I'm Stop, stop, stop. Left. Hold on, hold on. No, lab, wait, lab. I'm not doing what you're doing. I don't care about the okay. fucking, okay? I turn people away all the time. I refund people all the fucking time. If I cared about money, I would add more content. Wait, I thought you said that they weren't paying for it. I'm confused. Did you just lie? All my content is free. The only thing I pay for, people pay for is Discord or if they want my personal time. During the calls, they decide what we do. That's it, period, the end. I did calls before I did levels. Levels came after, I've been on YouTube like literally since I was 18, I'm 33. I know what I'm doing, okay? I've been in this sphere, I know what you're doing. I don't care what you're doing, it's great, do when, when it. When you say you know what you're doing, do you see how you're projecting a certain sense of authority? No, I'm, oh, no, that is I'm, a good saying, one. I'm saying you're as smart as I am, so we all know what we're doing. Well, no, because I'm a two and you're like as a, a 11. Well, the numbers no, refer to introspectiveness, same. not intelligence lab. Don't yeah, don't intelligence take the bait. is. You gotta let Thank that you, slide. Max. I would exactly. say I'm, I, I would say that you are actually less introspective than I am. <laughs> That's great. I well, love lab, that girlfriend. Lab, I literally see, cared lab, zero. Okay, I don't mind. Now lab, no, because lab, lab, we lab, have, I'm, I'm talking to you, and I'm saying like, do you not realize that like because you are a content creator, these people are going to look at what you're saying to them as like I know, and they're going to objectify you bring me. Them in. Gonna, no, no, I know they're going to objectify me. No, no, they're not going to listen to me. No, no, they're not going to listen to me. You bring them in. No, they're going to pair social relationships onto me. They're going to project their insecurities onto me, and no matter how many times I say, guys, I'm a person, I don't have an but education, you... I'm a college dropout, okay. I've already said how many so, times I'm sick. So who you will make me who do you Lev, can I give you, Lev, can I give you, Lev, Lev, can I give you a little feedback, Lev? You guys are putting me on a pedestal, I need you all to take me off, I know I'm wonderful, thank you, take me off Very the pedestal. Humble. I'm Very not humble. important, Lev, none of us are important, Lev, literally Lev, we're nobodies. When you, when you debate, Lev, nobodies. when you argue, you come across like you can't follow a conversation, and it's really hurting our, our, uh, our case here. So when we no because put a you specific... attack and I ask questions. No, no, your questions don't come across as questions. It comes across like you don't know what we're talking about. But I know, I know that you do. I know oh that God, you're intelligent. Max. I know you can. Do... No, I know. I know that you're intelligent. I know you can do this. What if I? So what gotta... if I said that it's not? Well, we were kind of honing on a, on a specific point, right? No, the specific you point were. was sometimes you. I came. Yeah. You. I was already. I yeah, had my I, I, coming into here. I that hear I was you. I hear you. About. Okay, it's happening but right you're now. Mad right? That I'm not using Wait, your framework. You just asked me a question. This, you guys are supposed it. to be on a team. God damn it! Get it. I know. Together. We're working that out. Lab, I'm trying to answer the question you just asked me. You said, "What are you talking about, Max?" And what I'm talking okay. about is, I helped you kind of hone down to, I think, a pretty fair and good criticism. And Brittany is still bouncing all over the. Yeah, even he, her this is. Right. Such a bad look. All right, we got to take Dan, this up Dan, to 11. Dan, 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 <laughs> shut up and let me finish. Even Brittany dancing right now is trying to show us, oh, I'm not an expert, I'm not anything. She's still doing it right in front of you, but you're letting her off the hook when you say, oh, she's I'm a, she's an 11 and I'm a 2. Or you start asking her questions like, well, oh, if you're on social media, people are going to listen okay. to you, aren't you? Don't you think, you gotta, don't you you think gotta, it would be you gotta, easier you, for you, me to interact with Brittany if you weren't coaching on, like, I could have been, I could have been saying all these no, things to Brittany. No, no, you, you obviously don't know. You don't know how to do this. You have to you just are, No, you're fucking, no, you're a dumbass. I don't know how to do it. You challenge her when okay when we're challenging her on B. Oh, you do it and I can uh, learn. Okay, when you challenge her on B and then you go to X in the middle of it, you're actually letting her off the hook for answering to B. 
And then while she's trying to answer X, you change the subject to G. <laughs> and then she's all over the place. Right, and and she's, don't, no noise. And you're actually running They're interference focused. against, you're running interference against your own argument by changing the subject so many times. So okay. you gotta just like one at a time. The, the current question is, I think it should be, if you don't wanna go with this, let me know, we'll do something else. I think a good, a good question is, sometimes you present yourself as, a matter, uh, as an authority figure, either by creating a level system or by charging people money to talk Wait, about their to lives with them. No, not yet. Okay, sorry. No. So, so uh, uh, charging people money, level system, but then when challenged on your abuse of your authority, as I think is your charge laugh, then she starts dancing around like she's a child and then can't be held to any accountability, smiling, yeah, doing all this. And so, I and so that. I, I think what you- slippery. Yeah, but you don't want to say she's slippery. You want to ask her, do you see the discrepancy between how you're presenting yourself in one way as a guru, and then a, a challenged well, guru becomes a child. But then I'm child. training you see how that's her, and I'm not giving her feedback. No, the feedback is implicit. You you have to ask her to reconcile it. No, I'm trying to level with her. If you give her, I'm trying to level with her, and you're trying to like train her, and I don't want no, to train girl, her. No, girl, you're trying to questions. accuse no. me, girl. You're trying to accuse me. You Just have like, to talk to me like a person. I'm not your enemy. I don't even know who her, you are. Give her, give her as much space as she wants. I don't think I've talked to you like an alien. Okay. Lev, no, you give her as much. Like Lev, Lev, don't you're you're taking When did we the fight? Just, did we fight? Do I know you? Did Lev, we have a fight? Girl, and remember when we Lev, remember what she said? Lev, remember when judgy? we present? No, Lev, remember when we? Gay judging. That's where you only okay, have wait, judge. Okay, wait, Brittany, let, let Max continue his. <laughs> Lev, remember when we presented her with this this point? We said, can you reconcile the difference? And she, what was her Max, response? Max, I would really appreciate Lev, if you would Lev, let me Lev, do this. Lev, shut the fuck up, Lev. Lev, shut up. Lev, shut the fuck up, Lev. Shut the fuck up. God Shut up! It. It's all coming, Lab, coming apart. Remember, remember when we presented her Max. with this argument? Remember what her response was? Her response was, "Oh, my sentence has ended a period." Okay, thank you for. No, that's a great no, Lab. No, <laughs> Lab. That's a great moment. That's a great moment to challenge her and no. say, "Well, I don't think that's what I don't think we were saying that your sentences shouldn't end in periods." And you can keep presenting your argument and just kind of see if she has a way to reconcile uh, it. You had no idea what I was going to do because you wanted to train me. You stepped in way too fucking quick. Okay, so if you don't, right, want right, to you know what, Mr. Girl, hold on, hold on, let's 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 yeah. let's let her go. Run no, free. Now I, now I call, fucking Dan. lost my train of thought. What, what God, was you I call me. Dan. saying? <laughs> I want you to call me Max, Dan. Right, you right. wanted to monologue. You wanted to monologue, and Listen, then I here. Lost I know you guys. Mind. You guys have a very specific relationship. With this. Maybe we should have got done some of this preparation in another room. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> Brittany. You're doing fucking real harm out there, okay? Wait, Dan, why are you jumping okay. in? Because I just no, no, said this no, no, is no, no, just no, no. Okay, one second. Go. I gotta go. come in and do what they can. Here we go. Brittany, I think that you are doing real, real harm to people. I think that you know it because you literally Jesus prey on these Christ. people. You make videos for people who are, are low in their <laughs> life, who want to change. These are people who are vulnerable. You make videos about it, and then you're up here knowing what you do, and you're like trying to be like, I'm a kid, I know nothing. And I think that that's, you're too smart for that. So because you're too smart for that, I think you're just being manipulative. Okay, there's yeah, no way to respond wrong. to that. Stop like you're literally just wrong. Just no, I go know ahead. what it looks like, but like, I hate to say it. I, like, I'm just like a person who literally offers her time. If you want to make a big deal out of it, it's in your head, girly. It's just like a conspiracy theory in your head. No, but what if it's okay, a big deal to these people? The problem is What's everyone What's a big deal? That way. people objectify me and don't listen to what I say, and instead okay. put me on a pedestal, and then I have to remind them I'm a person, and then what? I refund them, and they go on their way. What do you want me to do, Habibi? You want me to change okay. my whole fucking life because <laughs> a couple people are retarded, and they get, they're mentally ill, and they cling to me? It's life. Grow up. And then what okay, you do lab, is your lab. best. This is my best. You got a problem with lab. it? Come into my shoes. Otherwise, fuck off. Mr. Girl, just fucking you go. Like, like, you they're mad. Laugh, 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 laugh. Chill, chill, laugh, go. laugh. Hold on. Just this is important. To this it. is lab, what I'm lab, saying, girly. You're training so worried lab. about something that's lab. not an emergency. Mr. Girl, <laughs> God damn it, let them fight. This is, <laughs> lab, this is an important this is an important moment. We've seen the shift again, so now we know this is her primary defense. I'm just a person. I have no responsibility for what these people do or their money or their mental health because You're, I'm just a person. My stuff is 18 plus. My whole channel is aged 18 plus, guys. What's the Problem. Age 18 what is plus? the actual okay. problem? And now, and now we're back to now, now we're back to the dichotomy of I am being responsible. I have it 18 plus. I'm handling this responsibly, but also I don't have to handle it responsibly because I'm just a person. I'm just a Within human. Within the human. realm of what's responsible to me, my according to my values, it's subjective. We disagree on what values. Mine, mine, Max, not yours, not God's, nobody's, mine. Period. Problem is the end. I think that I'm having a hard time, like 
is this even movable? Because Brittany is like very clearly like, I feel like Brittany is a no, it's, it's not real. It's just so a if, fucking when idea you, I have. So like Max, were you, bro, were you yeah. like, rejects me. Max, where you feel like you can talk to like a narcissist and change their mind, I'm just trying to ask questions. Why, so I'm like, Destiny? They're taking me so seriously. <laughs> I'm an no, idiot. no, no, no. I maybe think, think, you're saying that like you you speak. Uh, I'm so confused. No, like, I, who do you think you I am? Seriously. Girl, I don't even make six I, figures. Lab. Relax, I'm a baby. Nobody, lab. why are you acting like I got power in the world? Hey, no, but at any scale, so at. Stop so projecting your idea of yourself people. onto me. We are not important. We are nobody. We do our best, and sometimes people get hurt. That's life. Grow up. We do our I don't best. Think you people can get hurt. <laughs> Grow up. That's a Hitler. That's a Hitler no, quote. No, that's having Lab. children. I don't, I don't, that's risking. I don't think, babe, no, bringing babies I don't into the world is as much of a risk as what I'm doing. It's so just much, how Lab. life goes. Some I think people you're too get better. Some people don't. Some people don't. So, okay, but think, my, so if I were problem. you, if I were you, if I were you, here's Max, what I would I'm be going to, to do. actually delete, delete you from the world. Um, Lav, please. no death threats. No That's death not threats. a death threat. I didn't say any barred words. I'm being okay. careful. Lav, I think that Lav. instead of focusing on the outcome of the conversation, which is kind of like a manipulative thing to do, I would focus more <laughs> on what you want to be doing in the conversation. Just presenting your case and genuinely giving her space to respond. Dude, again, now my brain is fried because I have Let me Let me take over for a little bit. May I? May I? Can yeah, I get Dan, the ball? Dan, let me get the ball. No, 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 hold on, hold on. I haven't said anything. Let, okay, for Max and Lav, okay? Tell me if this is an okay summation, okay? Of what you would say to Brittany, okay? Brittany, are you listening? Okay, <clears throat> Brittany, you run a stream where you make it seem like you have life put together so well that you created on your own with no expertise, no psychological information or anything, this leveling system to arrange people based on how introspective they are. And you think that introspective is, inc is incredibly important. That's a really important thing to you. So you are a person that presents yourself as having life figured out, as being incredibly introspective, and then on the back of that presentation, you have a personal relationship with your audience that you pursue through Discord and personal messages and responding to them on stream. And then on the back of that, you sell people lessons for them to improve their life. Wrong. They're not lessons. That's <laughs> stupid. <laughs> okay. My piano teacher. Okay, wait, real quick. So regardless wait, of how you wait, regardless you of do? how you sell them, the, the, well, they would argue the is that what up. they would argue is that the perception is that if somebody stumbles onto your channel and they see that you've presented yourself as a form of guru. They see you have a way like of, a mentor, hold on, like they, I understand, sister. I understand. A mentor, sure, a mentor, sure. <laughs> they see how you present your channel, they see the system that you've created, and then they see they've got a way to give you money to gain some insight into your life. Even if you handle it in a responsible manner, these guys feel like that is a system that is prone to abuse. That's what they're, the It summation. can be yeah. if, I, you know, you don't put boundaries in place, and if you, you know, it's sad, dude, when your viewers like, get that personal relationship. Wait a second, wait, I thought, Steven, wait, were you asking Brittany? us if this some, I think- Okay, sure, well, okay, yeah, real quick, before Brittany right responds, do you feel like it's a fair summary of your criticisms? I would, I would like to add that the claim to authority is also the basis of the business model. Yeah, her having like the life level system and everything, right? And, and in order to have that kind of authoritative voice ethically, I think you need to be able to be challenged on the things you say, like when you say that ones are useless people who should kill themselves. I never, she said, never said that, should. to be clear. It's, never, it's, never. Okay, no, well, that's what, that's, that's so what, that's what, that's what, that's what, that's what your brain so, they're so. it's not my fault okay. you don't speak my language. That's you said they're useless. You, you are the only person who speaks your okay. language. Laugh, stop it. Laugh, stop. Just so you we can, just so we, wait, wait, real quick. The just, world would be a better, okay, okay, okay. No, no, wait, so, just, so, just so they're, they're not even able to themselves. Wait. Just to be clear, so we're using the right language. That's you what she said. You said the right. world would be a better place without them. Objectively. Okay, great. But subjectively, so, anyway, I don't want them so to kill So if you're going to say, so if you're, why do you think that so you can, if, what, do you, so what is here's objective the final, Lav, uh, let me Let me just put the final Wait, hold on, on shut up. Summary. What does objective no, mean to you, Brittany? stop changing the, Lav, see, now she's got something she has to answer to, but you're giving oh her, you're, now you're asking her the definition okay. of the word objective. Mr. Girl, which is, which is a much easier question to answer than the one she's being asked. So stop replacing hard questions with fucking retard easy questions. I don't even know why I'm here. Okay, Go ahead. so my final point is in order to be to do this ethically at all, you need to be able to be challenged on your positions. And if when you're challenged on your in somewhat insane positions, your response is to say humans gonna human, I'm not an authority, tee hee hee, I'm just a little girl, then that's when it becomes unethical. So I think you can do a guru right. thing semi-ethically, but it becomes extremely unethical when you cannot actually be challenged. Max, you need you need to be a better questions. debate partner to laugh moving forward. 
Sorry, I, I think, think you should I think with switch that, the names in that sentence. Max is saying, if you, you need to understand and acknowledge the gravity that you have on people who are looking up no, to you. That's not, no, that's not really what I said. Okay, can okay. I do like a conversation yes, now? Yes, yes, you done? may. Yeah, laugh. That's literally what you Go said. ahead. Listen to me. Listen Go to me, ahead. Lab. Fight. Really hard. Not, Listen, laugh. That's not what I said. I swear to you. So I have a video called Brittany Simon Through the Levels. Have you seen it? Uh, a little bit of it, yeah. Before I I've seen it away. Just say yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay, guys, my lawyer seen seen it. It. guys, I went through something that was profoundly important to me. And then I left the internet, and when I came back, I told myself that I would try my hardest to meet people like me. So I put out these videos, and I talked about this idea I had in my head that a friend and I created after we had two different experiences, and then we came together, and we're like, oh, wow, you had that experience too? Cool, how does our lives overlap? And then we came up with this like really fun idea, okay? Then I shared this idea to the internet. And I made it sound really important. And the internet was really serious about that. But it's not that serious, because nothing is. We're okay, like, so this is everything's a, a social example. construct. Everything's made up. All religions are fake. Like, take a deep. Right. It's this not a perfect so example. You don't okay. even oh, no, wait, laugh, 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 laugh. Please don't blow it. Please yes. don't give her something well, else to answer well, to. Please don't change the subject. You're presenting it like you don't even really believe in it. <laughs> Right, no, exactly. don't say that. Laugh, don't say no, breathe, don't, yeah. no, no, no. Exactly. Present, <laughs> where did she? No, no, laugh, laugh. She's yes, presenting it like yes. she's presenting it yes, like laugh. nobody believes in anything. She's presenting it like beliefs and authority and responsibility are. Where's the meme that that don't even <laughs> exist? It's more than just I don't believe in it. She's saying nobody believes in anything. Therefore, nobody can be held accountable for anything that they do or say because it's all just silly. Max, listen to me. I brought you on here because I love you. The point of this is to have them kill each other, not for you no. to kill Britney. Yes, Max is more serious Wait. here. Okay, Lav, real quick, just said, what Max is I trying to get with the, 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 the point that Max, Max, the point that Max is trying to get across to you is, let's say that you um, you confront somebody who's a child rapist, and they're like, "I really like raping kids," and you're like, "That's disgusting. You shouldn't." And they're like, "I love raping kids with brown hair. It's the most fun thing in the world." And you're like, "Wait a second. Do you think that brown-haired kids are the most attractive?" when you should be focusing on the child rape part. That's what Max is saying. She'll bring up like a detail yeah. about like the more, that's not central to what's being discussed, but then you'll jump in on that and fight on the side battles and she can win those very easily because she's not an idiot. And Max knows she can win those very easily. So when you start trying to like, oh, well you think I'm a one or whatever, she's gonna say, yeah, I don't know if you're like, a one, you might be whatever you are, gotta, right? And okay. then all of a sudden you Lab, lose I'm like, like a, points. Yeah, yeah. That's what, that's what Max is criticizing. I'm like, okay. a, I'm, like a, I'm like a wolf I and you're like a poodle. That. No, I understand that. And she throws a little that. piece of hot dog okay, and then you go fucking that. running after it. <laughs> and then I got to get you. And, I gotta, and, you're, and no, I'm like, Max, are you ready to, you ready to do this? Lab? And you're like, Max, so this I'm about, like, laugh. Okay, swallow the hot dog. Let's go. Let's get back I on topic. Watched, I, Max, I watched your, your thing with Brittany. I did not think it went well. Uh -oh. So obviously, what you oh, are doing? It's, it's done. <laughs> like it's like the boys. I said it was gonna be like the boys. Season three, the end. This is what's happening. Uh, 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 uh. No, shut up. Okay, <laughs> Max, I I appreciate yeah. what you're doing and that you like really want to like pin her and this is like a debate for you. For me, I'm like seeking to understand and I want it to be a I'm conversation to and have I have a some serious criticism. I, honestly, Honestly, I'm only on her, on your side because that's the side I was assigned to. If you want me to switch to Britney's side, I would love to fucking grind you into dust right now. <laughs> oh my God. But as it stands, I am appointed to you and I'm trying to help oh, you not win a debate, but have a conversation that makes any fucking sense or has any meaning. That's my goal. Oh I just want God. the conversation to have that's... meaning. Yes. Fine. <laughs> Mac, I yeah. allow you to switch to Britney's side. Lab, let's fucking finish this bitch. You ready? All right, Britney. We're gonna work together. Fucking crush right, this Brittany. motherfucker. I don't know how he thinks. I came from his town. Let's end these cocksuckers <laughs> fucking once and for all. Okay. all right, the floor is yours, long talker. Let's go. What, that's me? Yeah, that's you. What are we doing? What are we doing? I'm long doing? talker. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're <laughs> long talker. What? what? Uh, Mr. Girl is on your side now, I guess, and Dan is Okay, uh, on the so side. Lav, yeah, the brown-haired ones are not the most attractive, Lav. That's a ridiculous <laughs> statement. Let's go, you and me, Mr. Girl, let's go. Oh right, my god, right, I think Lav. this is fucking ridiculous. I, first of all, all right. I want you to know, Max, that it's like extremely denigrating when you're telling me that I can't hold my own. You haven't given me a chance to fucking hold my own at all. That is hold true. You do go talk ahead. over women a lot. Right now you're talking questions. over a woman. I have different questions than you do. So if Lab you is want so to, sexist if you that want she to talks direct over this herself. conversation, if you want to direct this conversation, go ahead. Go ahead. I don't want to direct the I'm on the because defense no, now. I don't no, want to direct the conversation. You, you, you direct no, 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 no. You're in charge, Lab. My brain go ahead. Melt no, no. Out of my ears. Take the, this no, is no, enough. Why would I direct a conversation? I have to deal with you. I have to deal with dad training me. 
and then I have to deal with fucking Britney acting like a fucking child. Like, yep. I would like to just please have a fucking adult conversation. That'd please. be nice. Live, I swear. That yeah, would I'll be try. nice. I'll try. I'll try live. Just me and you. Just fuck the boys. Me and you. You've got the steering wheel, Lav. Where do you want to take us? Oh my god, I don't even know where the fuck I was. I, you yeah, asked me a question, Matt. Maybe, Maybe you should have fired second. your yeah. navigator, just, but please, go ahead. Please, 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 Take Lav. a where second, focus. It's Can okay, I just talk to focus. Lav, please, please, give me five fucking minutes, Lav. Five minutes. <sighs> Lav, what do you think humans are doing here? Don't let her get, fuck this <laughs> in her fucking woo-woo bullshit that harms people okay. in the real world. What, okay, so this is what I think. I, I think that you are like really, <laughs> well, it's hard because I don't, I don't know how to change your mind from like you thinking that nothing matters. I can only tell you the gravity in which like- The no only thing that matters is what matters to you. That's the only thing that matters, Lav. No, but you are cultivating an obvious- oh, audience. Lav, Lav, like, Lav, not... the only thing that matters is what matters to you. So you could do anything bad in the world. And as long as okay. I like, now, Brittany, she's taking whatever you say. She ch she allows you to change the subject to whatever. So just keep doing that. Every time this she says something, you love talking over women. Just literally, <laughs> just interrupt her and say a new thing. Wait, stop, stop, stop. Brittany and uh, Lab wanted to talk on their own for five minutes without the boys. So let them talk. Destiny, oh, sure. look. Destiny, look. What? Oh my God, it's so cute. <gasps> It's his feels, merch, it's so cute. It is cute. Feels like something bad could happen to someone that like pays for your advice or your time and you would just be like, they could kill themselves and you could just be like, Brittany. yeah, but I'm just a human. I'm just, nothing matters, like I'm just here. That's a point, um, that's true. Yeah, but it that, would matter to me. So oh. it wait, <laughs> wait. <laughs> So it does matter to you. So human's not gonna human, human's gonna listen to Brittany? I'm confused. I know you're confused, Habibi, I know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Oh, I know no, you're like, you are so. You're I'm only, no, listen to me. Like, listen to me. Everything is a construct. We don't even know why we're doing here on this stupid fucking planet. I'm trying my best to share the knowledge I learned. Over time, people have decided to come to me. Our lessons are really fun. You can call them lessons. I don't give a fuck what you call them, girl. Whatever makes you happy, right? Same with sex work. Whatever, however you want to view it, I don't care. Just let me do what I want to do. If you're I so worried about what I'm doing, and I know you are, then admit it. Admit that you want to control me and control my life. Admit you're worried and the road to hell is paved in good no, intentions. No, no, no. Brittany, Brittany, and I Brittany. think, you know, I understand. Hold on, hold on. Let, let, wait, um, on. let him let listen. Him go. Yeah, listen, cool. I understand people are adults and we struggle. People who come to me usually have therapists, it's not therapy. People who come to me are usually college graduates, it's not about money. It's usually about a path. They've done everything they can do and now they're like, what the fuck else? I'm the what the fuck else. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. Who fucking cares? They try something, it doesn't work. What does it matter? It's like weed or ayahuasca. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, who the fuck cares? Nothing Whoa. works. So if in your framework, if nothing works, would you rather be someone who like causes What do you mean nothing or? works? I'm saying if it doesn't work, go find a different tool. I'm just a tool. But in your world, I'm trying to enter your brain. In your world, like nothing matters because we're all gonna die. No, nothing matters, but it only matters to you, the individual. So I, Brittany, care about destiny because destiny okay, is my friend. So are you just not capable of seeing that people like exist outside of you? Like I'm really- Those are the bubbles. Yes, okay, so now we're on the same page. You live in one bubble. I live in a bubble. In my bubble, this is how we fuck. In your bubble, you fuck different. Girl, that's great, no judgment. But you're okay, judging but, the way I but, fuck right now, and it's live, annoying me. No, but we do live in like a society, like, okay. So you, you live you on your, your part of society. We only overlap because of the fucking internet. Do we no. live in the same fucking town? No. We could. Brittany, we don't. Brittany, you're, you're getting too aggressive. <laughs> right, though? I'm sorry, sorry, girl, sorry, girl. I'm like feeling it. I'm feeling it. It's my first panel, girl. Makes it sound like she's problem. The problem. The problem is that you're like, we live in a society where things like have like a greater voice, right? So if you're telling yeah. people like, if you're saying I like, consent to that society, not that I consented in the first place, and I live in America because that's the f area I fuck with, and I live in a, c a state I like, that's about my vibe. That's all I'm asking people to do. Go with I your vibe. I'm not sure if it's because you're high, but I'm like having no, such bro. a fucking hard time. Oh, like, we just don't speak. We no, don't see each other. That's not no big deal. It's just we don't see each other. It's no big deal. It's no, literally how humans no, human. It's why there's chaos. You're doing like a weird like abuse I'm, tactic on me. No, because like, you're because you literally are like taking me matters. so serious. I'm like, oh, what if I'm like I'm in pain? What you've done to me is bringing me pain. You're like I don't matter. Really Take a deep like, breath. Serious. How did I cause you pain? Can I repair it? Are you analyzing it and blowing it up in your head? Okay, it happens. No biggie. Take a deep breath. Okay. Okay. People Brittany, fall in love with their therapist. Idea. People Brittany. fall in love with their priest. People fall in love with their parents. What do you want me to do? Don't Brittany, leave my I have best. I have boundaries. I have Max, no, you don't. Shh. Yeah, I know. I do, Wait, Brittany. I'm trying. I, I know. Wait. Let me hear me wait. out. Hold it. 
Lev, I'm but trying my best, girly. I don't know why you're taking me so serious. I don't want to be Mother Teresa, girl. I don't got time for that. I just want to get high okay. and watch anime and have a couple babies and be a YouTuber. Can I do that? And a sex sure. worker. My, my problem is that like you're prescribing. So you're, you're prescribing. I'm just saying, this is my thought process. I'm a problem solver. I get bored. I like puzzles. You like puzzles? People bring me their puzzles and I solve them. Like I literally just solve it. One guy pays me. He paid me to figure out why he's calling me. Tell me that's not the best job in the world. That is the greatest job. You're just, girl, it is, I'm telling you, you should do it. You should try. Try talking to people for a living. For me, I do it because I'm a problem solver. Okay, that's Brittany, all. That's I think all you I am. Focus, I think you should focus on the highly personal nature of you the You guys are acting about. like I don't understand Brittany, and feel sad I'm, if people don't get what they need out of my stuff. But it's life. What I'm doing my best. I think you should focus on the highly personal nature of this. So I say, you're, I'm not teaching you how to live. I'm teaching you. I don't how think. To I don't think Brittany needs help in this. Right so, so I think I she think, does. I think the problem is that I you think, she think absolutely that the way that does. you see the world is the way the world is. No, girly. I'm saying we all see the world the way we think it is, and this is the way I see it. And people who see it like me, it's cool if I could help you figure out no, our even version that, of even the game. Even making that prescription, like, what if there is like a way that the world is? You're still saying that, like, yes, I'm saying, I'm the saying, way you feel the world no, is left, the way left, left, left. My work is the whole point of my work is to say we don't actually know these answers, but you act like we do. And I'm saying no, I'm the one who's truly saying we have no idea, but you no, are saying you do, do, and that's why you feel confident. Like, no, that's why you feel no, confident like, telling you what to do with my life. No, so, because no, you so think like, you have the answer. Exists. I'm not no. telling you what to do with your life. You I, feel comfortable no, telling you what to do with mine okay. only because you think you have the answer, girly. Okay. How so could I? I have the answer. It's just that the answers are available to us. So like with hey, something with No, 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 they're not. Uh, my argument is they're not. That we have, we know very little about what okay, it is. Because your argument is not rooted in fucking and reality saying, and you're prescribing no, it is. to be fucking delusional. I'm saying what you think we know about people is not even the iceberg. Don't they say that? Science literally says we, oh, my girlfriend. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> can I wait? Saying, can I? Can I? Can I? Want, real so quick. Serious, wait, wait. Can I? Can I? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. This is not tough this is enough. No. Man, shut up. This is no. my stream. Fuck you. Oh my. I just want to because I because I because these are wait, two of my people an now hour. and I don't want them to hate each other. Okay. Um, as much as they could, but you know, if they want to, people might like hate each other. Orange or an apple? It's just some sexual thing. I'm sure. Okay. I think I have an. I had an epiphany. I've had okay. an epiphany. I think, I think why. No, 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 wait, 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 no, no, wait. Before you say, I, before you oh, do no, some other please, insult. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. Please, it's not an insult. I think the the reason why Max doesn't like the way that I'm I'm speaking to Brittany and the way that Brittany doesn't like the way that I'm speaking is because these are two people who both think that their world is the world, right? <laughs> wait, wait, Lab, you're actually no, okay. Wait, no, no, wait, wait, no, no, wait, wait, let me, I'm gonna stop. Follow let me, fucking conversation. Hold on. The kind of that, but Lab, you're, wait, Lab, you're actually way closer than anybody realizes. Okay, here is the issue. Okay, and this is always the issue when you debate people that are like libertarians or anarchists or whatever. Okay, the issue you have is that Brittany. Is in, is in an unassailable position where she said, I wanna live my life the way that I wanna live my life. I'm not telling you what to do, so I don't really want you to tell me what to do. I figure things out on my own, other people come to me, and I'll help them if they want, and if they don't, then they, they're free to leave. I'm not trapping anybody, I'm not misleading anybody. So she's got like that free association thing going on, okay? Your position, it's not untenable, but you have to do a lot more work to build out this framework of understanding. Well, hold on, life doesn't work on just free association, okay? A guy standing outside of a school in a van with candy trying to learn nine-year-olds, that's not free association, right? There's something um, insidious going on there, even if it doesn't seem to be the case. But you have to make a stronger argument for why, when she says you're trying to tell me what to do, the answer is yes, you are. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. You just have to take the step forward and make the argument for why, this is why I think I should be able to tell you what you do. I think that there are things that people can do in life that are deceptive, even if they're not trying to be. I think there are things that people can do that are harmful, even if they're giving people an opportunity to get out of it. People, you know, you don't. nobody forces you to smoke cigarettes, but everybody agrees that it'd be horrible if you started smoking and it's bad for you. Like, you, ha you have to like go into those types of arguments. You just have to build a lot to get there because fighting on the free association level is always gonna be a losing argument for you because, yeah, because you, you have to build it out way more because otherwise she's gonna say over and over again, this is my life, I do what I want, like, you know, and then you, you the onus is on you to, to tell her why it should be different. And that's just a- You have to be a little yeah. more, I think you have to be a little more earnest too and be willing to take the, you know, the more vulnerable position of saying, well, I will make the case. Yeah, I am gonna tell you what you should do. Your, Right, you keep you keep saying like, does anybody else like understand like why this is wrong? Don't you get it, Brittany? And she's just gonna keep saying no. Thing is, to both of you, that you think that also you guys think that you have the prescription of of the world, and that's the pro like I do. I'm yeah, I'm, I do. Of course, I do. I tell people how to live their life and what to do. Of course, <laughs> yeah, that's sure. Yeah, 
that's not how I operate. I'm like asking questions and then I'm like, okay, there are a couple flaws here because there are mm. certain facts that are like, there are, the way that Brittany uses objective is like fucking wrong, but there are like things that are happening in the world. Like there are direct harms that, and that's what I'm trying to say. So, but like, for you, just, just to be clear, part, when you say something like there are harms in the world, that word harm, that's a normatively loaded word. That's a moral term. And it is something that you're trying to say we should avoid. Generally, we acknowledge there's a harm. You generally want to avoid it. So you are saying that like you have an objective understanding of the world that you're trying to push on somebody else. Because if you didn't, then you're back in Britney's position where Britney's like, oh, well, listen, girl, like I don't care. You don't care. Who cares? It's not a big deal. That's her position. I think I'm right? just, I'm, think I'm just trying to thought provoke rather than. Um, no, you're not. You think she's doing something that's objectively oh, wrong and you want to push her on it. That's where you're at, right? Which is fine. You just have to own that position. But if you're just trying to thought provoke, that conversation Maybe. would look a lot it's different than the vindictive doing maybe but i feel like that's not what i'm doing but also it's been really hard to like get a feel on this conversation because i feel like max has been like trying to train me and britney's being extremely evasive so i'm like where the fuck am i even right now uh, i don't think britney's britney's not yeah i can't i can't feel i can't this is an unlivable space for me i i cannot sure. feel Brit out to, to be clear haven't, to be clear you haven't Brit decided for yourself what you're doing in the conversation yeah, because I didn't come in, I'm not, yeah, I didn't come in the way that Dan, Dan was like, you're gonna that's kill a, her. And I'm like, I don't, yeah, that, the whole time he was saying that, I was like, this no, is a I'm problem that nobody. Her. Okay, but this is a problem that nobody else in this room has. Everybody else has decided why they're here and what they're going to do and why the position they're going to take or what the position they're not going to take or whatever. You are the only person who is looking to other people to figure out what you're doing and why you're saying what you're saying. And it makes it so that once you, even if you kind of agree on a thing, listen, and I'm a mediator, start going there, I'm a the mediator, second, I'm, not a, I'm this, not a debater, I'm a mediator. All right, listen, the second, let me tap then me in, Why wouldn't you just, inter then just interview people? Then don't no, fucking no, 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 it's fine. talk it's shit fine. about people this, if you're just a mediator. It's fine, I'm gonna show you the way. I'm gonna go. You're gonna be my debate coach, Laugh, and we're gonna crush both of them, all three of them, all right? That's what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this off because I can't let you, Brittany, get off the hook with this fucking <laughs> bullshit. I can't. Okay. Well, then why don't you just argue with her instead of trying to get laughed to do it? Dan is just here to well, shit stir, guys. Just to be yeah, clear, so you all, here. Dan is literally just here to cause trouble. So if you're looking at him for life guidance here, if you're getting upset or something, Dan, Dan That's doesn't care. Dan, I am no, 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 Dan's, Dan's, no, Dan's doing the same thing as Dan doesn't care about anybody in this conversation. Maybe me, hopefully, and then himself and the content. I'm trying no, to gauge how much value this has as to me also. Like, do I need to change her mind or can I just simply no, just like listen. really not fuck with Britney? No, watch and learn, okay, is all I'm gonna say. Okay, <sighs> now, first of all, okay, but Dan, I wait, am Dan, the, Dan, 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 you're doing You're gonna interrupt thing, me? Uh -uh. Yes, I'm gonna interrupt you. No, you show motherfucker. this rush of passion, this rush of in, in, in righteous anger, and yes. then the second you're challenged on it, you're like, oh no, I'm just shit stirring. I'm just here to fuck around. Oh, I'm not. Oh my God, he's like Britney. He's like Britney. Yeah, it's not. It's the same thing Britney's doing. Dan, I knew you hated me for a reason. It's because I am you. More like what Lav is doing though. Like the issue that Lav often has that she comes in super, super, super hot because she like feels some sort of way, and then when she starts testing her ideas, she's like, oh maybe, like maybe I don't feel quite the way that I thought I originally. I think that's definitely don't feel like how That's slightly different because Lav is doing it because. She gets really emotional and then she calms down and then she forgets why she was emotional in the first place, which is it, she, no, she mistakes her emotions true. for it's like values I, and beliefs. First of all, no, but Dan, what Dan and, and Brittany are doing is different they because they are, they are actually me. strategically pulling oh away from God. into an unassailable position. I miscalculated I don't how much Lab Mr. Girl is. hates Lab. You equate Brittany that was and my Dan, mistake. You are, you are missing both of them. I'm gonna be honest. Like, Brittany is no, not doing what no, Dan's uh, doing. No, they have the same style of making a very strong stance, and then once it's attacked, they say, well, some. No, I did, this isn't me. I didn't say that, or I don't believe that. I'm not. No, I'm not an authority source. I'm just here to. I'm just joking around. Tee -hee, I'm just dancing. No, and even Dan I goes can and do makes himself a drink, and Brittany starts fucking with her hair Max, and dancing around. I'm not get a you're drink. The reason, Max, you're the reason why Brittany is winning this conversation. <laughs> yeah, you are. You are helping the enemy, unironically. You told it's me true. to be on her side. No, on lab side, fired. and you were not from day one. You sabotaged her from the start. No, you, your hatred. You and Lab <laughs> fired me, and now I'm working for Britney. So I was just trying. Is there two uh, different puppeteers? We have Dan, the puppeteer, oh my who's God. stirring, and we can't go against each other because he I, knows it'll be golden content. That's and then exactly. Max is puppeteering no. from the other side <laughs> to try to argue his position through Lav and to get Lav to also agree and support his position because they both have issues with Britney, but it sounds okay. like they have different okay. issues with Britney. Yeah. Listen, there's an opportunity here to end Brittany Simon. And I feel like we're all missing. <laughs> I don't even that, want uh, to that is an opportunity we really need to take, okay? We're letting it slip through our fingers. And this is a mistake, okay? Together, 
we have some of the brightest minds <laughs> Twitch in one room. If anyone can do it, it's us. Okay. Now maybe I thought about me, this man. all wrong. No, Mr. Girl, you can come back, but you have to behave. You can't talk over women constantly. You got to give them a chance to talk. You gotta. Okay, you're a little bit of a mansplainer. It's okay. I do but it to I it myself. I can't. Now that Kyle is here, Max, you, you gotta get face demon women. women. Yeah, you gotta get back. Sorry, go ahead. All right. Oh man, you know, Max. <laughs> I want you, why don't you go ahead and show us how it's done. Why don't you kick it off with Brittany and let this fucking uppity bitch who's getting people's lives Wait, ruined know what- Wait, What is what? Well, I thought the uppity bitch was- Can you not see real what we're doing sorry, right now? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Jesus sorry, fucking yeah, Christ. A oh, lot of uppity bitches for Dan. Yeah, he has a lot of women he doesn't right. like. Max, in the words of Mortal Kombat from the Sega Genesis, which both of us played, I'm sure. Finish her. A-C-A-B-B. Do it. Well, lead us off with the finish. Go ahead. Well, your I, opening statement. Uh, <laughs> I don't think that you should be trying to destroy Brittany Simon, but Brittany, I do think that reconciling the switches between position of authority, guru, to I'm just a little girl dancing and joking mm -hmm. around, I think that is important that you reconcile that that kind of dance. And I understand that your your stance is. It's a very personal thing, so I'm different things to different people or different things in different <clears throat> situations. But I think that, um, I think there's a moral imperative to stay in one role when people are looking to you for advice on how to live their lives. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'll give you? Is this it? Destiny, I think I just figured it out. Uh-oh. Oh, are you gonna change the subject real quick? No, no she's about to respond. I'm I'm, I'm going to take accountability for being a point of authority as a thinker. I like to think of myself as an idea, thinker, philosopher, and that's the position I take. If you want to come to me as that person, it's subjective. Mwah. There, I fixed it. Now you can't be mad at me. And everyone can go on. I'm nobody, I'm just Diogenes living homeless on the streets. Wow. You think what the fuck wow. is going on? I feel like I just got like mind rape. <laughs> ah, speaking of mind rape. No, we'll get into that later. Listen. <laughs> you think that homeless I people actually have never I don't know if I've ever had like I honestly I don't know how much this is worth because I think that Brittany is genuinely the, the sort of person who like cannot take accountability and who like is not going to think thoughtfully about this. Like I don't think she's capable of it because she doesn't even think that she exists. Okay, like, wait, no, wait, 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 hold on, real quick, real quick, hold on, I'm gonna ban anybody to shut, shut the fuck up. Okay, hold on, wait, just real quick, Lav. I understand we're all like super emotionally heated right now, but just one thing, and I hate to do this, and I do this with Melina all the time, and she hates me for it, she should hate me for it, okay? But just on like, on like an, on like an age thing, so one thing Max said earlier was true. Actually, I don't wanna hear it. No, 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 hold, it. it's so important, okay? If you're gonna attack somebody on their position in here, everybody in here has probably had attacks for literally years. So if you're gonna have like some substantive critique, that's something that has to be in the back of your head because I'm sure that like a million people-, people understand, You misunderstand what I'm doing. I'm literally, I'm I'm scaling on like, dude, you guys are making me over go over to fucking Britney's place. I'm like- No, no, you don't have to. I'm just saying that be careful when you say, when you when you utter something like Britney's not capable of thinking about this. She's probably been challenged on this longer than you've been on Twitch or YouTube. Like she's no, so- my, she, Longer than yeah. you've been alive. Fear? I fear that Brittany is actually a two, and we're a bunch of fives trying to convince no, a two that's, how to sell people. Oh, that's, you're on, okay. oh fuck, just, I love that. Yes, yes, Lab, that's it, that's it, you figured it out. Okay. Just put what yes, I said in the back it. of your head and just, just, this, yes, just remember that. So you agree, you the levels are real, and you are a five. So you agree, the levels are real. You are five, I am the two. Oh, I agree. Wait, no, no, so they no, are real. Lab, no, you no, sunk, so you're, you sunk the no, ship, so these, Lab. No, so wait, wait, Mr. Girl, up. remember your side. Shut up! <laughs> wait, I, 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 the thing is, Lav is not on her own side, is the problem. So I gave Brittany, I think, a pretty oh good thing. God. To a pretty good challenge, at least to talk about, not super, not even super aggressive, just like, wh what do you think about this? And then, Lav, now all she has to do in order to counter our group attack, you've attached the idea that she's incapable of thinking critically, which is obviously not true, and all she has to do now is say something that is, like, mo moderately intelligent, and she wins, which she's going to do. You want to kill Brittany, and I do not want to kill Brittany, where no, you're coming I don't. from different no, sides I of don't. that conversation. You are coming That's into this. True. You are coming into this conversation with something so vastly different than what I'm coming into it for, and I don't know. Like you cannot train me, and then you can't make me look dumb because I'm coming into it differently than you. Like, do you not see how you were like doing bubbles, exactly Lav? Exactly, exactly differently from you. Bubbles, Lav. Exactly. He's different from you. I'm different from you. You're you. Leave me alone. 
But you can't no, I don't, because your I don't bubble want to makes Brittany. you feel bad if you don't come and attack me and you don't control other people. I get it, girl. And Max's bubble tells him he has to save people. He has to stop the evil Brittany. Simon, eighty thousand subscribers. Stop her now. She's I, so no, evil I and powerful. Somewhere between you, that is like you are not taking yourself as seriously as you should, and Max is taking himself oh, way too. Fucking don't get me wrong. I'm fucking smart as shit, bros. I'm smart enough to know I'm nobody. Why does she have to take herself so seriously? Like because she thinks she's committing a serious harm. What yeah, harm do you so, think she's doing? She's misleading people that are, are probably shouldn't be in these parts of the internet are stumbling onto her, developing an unhealthy parasocial relationship with somebody that sold themselves as a guru on life and then is paying her money to get life advice from somebody with no qualifications. Is like the, the, the problem is that the, the yeah. level system is going to be applied by people to themselves. In the I know. Opposite Isn't that way so that funny? Op in the opposite way that it's constructed. So it's not going funny? to be level. Come on, that's funny. Be, it's it's Come not on, going it's to be funny. level. I go no, in her be, bedroom. It's, hide it's not shit. funny, Brittany. It's, it's not, not funny. funny. It's fucking it's dangerous. dangerous. It's not. Listen, how funny okay, it is. Fin it's so funny. No, let me Brittany, explain Brittany. the joke. Let me explain I the don't joke. want to hear your joke. I want you to let oh, me finish. Oh, you're no fun, Max. You're no it's fun. It's not. It's not level ones who are going to think to themselves, "Oh, society would be better off without me." It's suicidal people. Totally, bros. I've yeah, totally. I've had calls with those people, and they're still alive. Thank God. I've totally. When you, I totally helped them. You're right. When thank you start. When you start talking about suicide. Or invoking yeah, the idea which was of my life for literally thirty years, and I fucking got out of it. I understand. So, I understand. No, 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 you're that you come shitting from this, over. No, I you're understand. shitting all over my recovery, all over my I progress, all over this my. This is not about therapy. you personally. It is. You it have is. now. No, what you I have expanded your responsibility beyond no, yourself, is, Brittany. It is about your, your, your me because I share my life. Now, my your responsibility channel changes has expanded who I am. beyond yourself. No, no, and when no. you take the money oh and God. you take the power and you take the fame, <sighs> you also take responsibility for the people who stumble upon you. According to whose construct? Who made up that rule? Whose rule is that, Max? I think a lot of people, especially suicide prevention experts, would probably agree that when you talk about suicide, it behooves you, if you're a good person, to take some responsibility for how those messages are going to be received. And when you totally. likely and have suicidal people, we all I have suicidal argue, people in our audience. We all have suicidal messaging. people in our audiences, and the last most I unhelpful argue, thing I a suicidal person sufficient. can hear, the I'm most unhelpful sufficient. person, can you the most unhelpful thing sufficient. a suicidal person can hear, is that the word? I was that suicidal person. Them. I'm trying to talk to people like me. I think me. so. Your Brittany, I, I think a message me. that I don't think is helpful. Your method wouldn't help me. Do you get what I'm saying? We're helping different people. Fuck off. Go help your people. I'll help mine. That's all we can all do. We can only help the people go, we can help. Go be helpful somewhere else. Go be helpful somewhere else. Max, so you get are you, me. Are you concerned that basically if people are seeing Brittany's messaging and they're suicidal, they're actually at an increased likelihood of suiciding? I think that you are making an abstract statistical concept into a um, concrete concept where it's not going to work exactly. It's no, wait, you concept. have to own that position. You have to say yes, that Britney's content might lead more people to suicide. That's kind of I the mean, central part harm. of your thesis. Otherwise, there's no harm, in which case you should have no position here. Right? It, it can, doesn't there's, have to just there, be well, suicide, wait, 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 too. Wait. It doesn't well, have to just be suicide. suicide. Yes, people. exactly. There's a, I'm talking about suicidal people who are, I think, a very vulnerable people. It could mm -hmm. be other non-death harm that comes to them. Sure, a lot of it. You know, just because someone doesn't like, kill themselves. I would say mostly, mostly it's going to be non-death harm. It's like it's like COVID. What when specific just harm do you think Brittany's causing them if it's not increased risk of suicide? Uh, this is my, my problem is that you're going to keep asking for really specific concrete things when I want you to take the defensive position and explain to me why it is good messaging to tell suicidal people that the world would be better off without them. Is that going to happen? Well, first, wait, hold on. Firstly, that's not even a central part of her message. She's probably said that like twice. I don't think I've ever heard her say matter. that on stream. It doesn't, it, yeah, it, yeah, but it, that it, is the part of her message no, that I'm reacting to. Wait, hold on, wait, real quick. Hold on, wait, people. also, I've wait, real quick. Yeah, that. also, real, real quick, hold on. That does matter, okay? Because I give a lot of personal advice on my stream, and I've said on my stream a ton, kill yourself. But these are always in you totally you separate. You shouldn't do that. Okay, you that's fine. Off, that's fine. You Hold on. Do that. That's fine if you think I shouldn't do that. But you, you can't shouldn't. pretend that like somebody playing a video game with somebody, where me and Dan are like, oh, fucking kill yourself, blah, 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 blah. That that is going to be taken the same as like, oh, yes, he gives very serious advice to people. And then he also tells them to kill themselves. These are separate Agreed. things. Sure. You can argue that they, one. They are. Yeah, yeah. And you can argue that, you know, it's still bad, but it is different, right? Now, if I, now, I will say right now, 100% that I would actually join your side and I would hardcore fuck Britney 
in not in that way. Oh, like, thank you. No, shut up. Like, attack her <laughs> stuff. If she was on stream saying things like, oh, yeah, like, two, three, four, five, you should do this. Like, one's like, you guys could probably all kill yourself, and I think it'd be fine. If that was, like, her Absolutely. messaging. But I don't think she's ever had that type of messaging. I think she responded one time to no, a question that you but mentioned. That, wait, yeah. wait, her saying it explicitly is not the charge. That's not what I'm saying she's doing. I'm saying that <clears throat> while she has constructed the level system for us to conceptualize level ones as worthless people, the problem is that people who feel really worthless and who are likely suicidal because they feel worthless and... It, I believe there is a strong correlation between being suicidal and thinking the world would be better off without you. I think totally. it's harmful for some. I think it's harmful for somebody pr to present themselves as a guru and have a large fan base and tell people, "Yes, the world would be better off without you." I, I don't think that's. Hold that. on, wait, real she quick. One, yeah, that. real quick. Hold on. One. I'm not I don't think she's that's explicitly sure, saying that. Even I'm if she's not explicitly specific. saying that, I reject the idea that you can't acknowledge some level of uselessness to some people that are suffering from some types of mental illness. I think that it is probably one of the most important things you can acknowledge because you have to understand how people around you are going to function, right? You have to understand how people around you are going to, to perceive you and deal with you. If you, are, if you are battling certain types of mental illness, the, the prerogative is on you to go and get certain types of help because you will burn out, you will churn and burn every fucking person in your life. If you have depression and you're not getting professional help, you are, you are probably a burden on everybody around you. You will burn those friends out and you will be alone. You have to acknowledge it. Okay. I don't think it's necessarily, now there might be responsible ways or irresponsible wait, 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 ways to say wait, that, wait, but like, yeah, My problem go. is not that she's acknowledging it. You, you, the way you just said it, the way you just presented it, anyone who's <laughs> watching you who is struggling with feelings of suicidality are probably going to see that you are actually carving out a tunnel to recovery for them. You're doing it in a harsh way, but the way you're presenting it is, you're stuck, you need to take care of yourself. You need to get out there, you need to get help. If you if you you can't count on other people to do it for you, and that is a the fine message. I think it's a little bleak for my taste, but I don't think it's nearly the same as saying you are so useless that you can't even kill yourself. Do you? Th okay, and so here's a question. Then we can both so ask. Wait, 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 but, but that's totally that's a totally different. It, it's telling these level ones that you're walled off. Sure. So here's you're a question. Gonna, we can just we can ask. Yeah, we can solve this right now. We can solve this right now. Brittany, do you think level ones are stuck at level one forever, or can they ever improve? They can get to five if they want. Okay. I think you've. I th wait. Okay. I've said this a thousand uh, fucking times. She said this a million like, times. Yeah, no, because no, when no. I heard her, she when I heard her mention the level one thing, ones. and I hope this is the right context, but when she mentioned level one thing, I thought it was in the context of like, there are groups of people that are energy vampires. They make everybody around them worse. And then I think later on, she was like, if they all died or whatever, like the world objectively be a better place. There are people that are like this. That's just true. Might be shitty to hear it, but there are absolutely people like this. But she hasn't paired that with, and if you're a one, you're walled off forever and you're going to be there, so you should kill yourself. She's never said that. My problem, right. my problem with it is she, not that's that gets it's it. not whether it's true or not. It's that it's a framing that is likely to harm people who are suicidal. But then you won't okay. even point out a harm. I, I, Steve, I do know. you want to let Brittany do any talking yeah, for wait, herself? Wait, wait, I need to what? show you a specific okay, person. Go for it. I need to show you a specific person who's yes, been driven to suicide by Brittany's harm, videos. Risk of harm is not the same thing as harm, and morally equating them is stupid. I'm not morally uh -oh. equating them. If I were morally equating them, I would say Britney's killing people. What I'm saying is, I think Britney is sending uh -huh. messages to people who are vulnerable to hearing those messages that could increase, that could damage them. That is risk of harm to risk of harm. Literally what I'm saying is, there is a risk of harm with Britney's content, and I think it's unethical to send those messages to suicidal people. Huge risks. And you keep, Huge. and Kylo, you keep trying to fucking corner me into saying that she killed somebody, <laughs> so then you can say, well, she didn't kill anybody, just like Dr. fucking K. But in both <laughs> cases, I'm not saying anybody specifically well, killed anybody. Well, Dr. K did kind of I'm cool saying, <laughs> but No, I'm saying, I'm saying people, I'm saying people are doing things that are reckless and True. taking risks with other people's lives and mental health so they can enrich themselves, and I think it's unethical. Just as a quick caveat, Absolutely. I don't think either me or Kyla, or Kyla's saying this, then fuck her, but I don't think we're looking for you to point out like a specific person. When we say a specific Kyla, harm, we just Kyla mean- keeps saying you can't no, no. point to a specific- No, 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 not a specific, a specific harm. As in like, can you say like, oh, well a person listening to this thing might avoid therapy and then might like, you know, okay, increase- Okay, a person yourself. listening to, yeah. a person hearing somebody say, you're so useless, you can't even kill yourself, might kill themselves. That would be pretty specific. So, yeah, okay, true. so it does increase the risk. That was the first question I asked you. Are you concerned because you, you think it you increased gave me, you the risk? You asked me for an example of, no, you asked me no, for an no, example I didn't. of no, harm. No, I didn't. No, I never, no. I said, You just said, example, I want you to tell me a specific started, harm that could. I started by trying to clarify your position by saying, are you concerned? Is the harm You're not trying to clarify though? my position. My position yes, is very simple and it is widely held by mental health professionals around the world that if you tell people who are suicidal that they're useless, Everybody that's that's not told good. you. Okay, here's what here's what I think. So I definitely uh, Max, I do not I have a whole different 
way and feeling against <laughs> I, Britney. I understand. I understand this was framed as like Sunday Night Smackdown from Dan. Dan, I think that was great. I think you were just trying to, you know, bump it up. Now I'm realizing that I don't feel like I need to change Britney, but I can do my best to offset what she's doing. <laughs> So like if she's prescribing all these things to her people and I don't agree with them, I'm going to do the same. Like I'm going to be like, yeah, I don't agree. And that's like all I can do really. Because I don't even think that she's in the place where she really like, she, it seems like she's like very much thinks that her reality is her reality, but isn't like understanding that there are certain things that like society we live within. And that's like her own thing, right? Girl, you think so, I don't vote or pay taxes? You think I'm retarded? What's going on? You gotta be well, careful no, with like absolute like, statements like that, I think, but sorry, good. So yeah, what are you, like, girl, what are you literally saying? I'm about to buy a house, girl. I'm an older sister. I have like literally like important things to do in the real world. Okay, We're so on we, YouTube but, right now in the no, fake world. All, what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah so and she all, was kind of implying that you don't, by the way, Lav. Yeah. She didn't pick up on that. So, Thank you, Dan, that was correct. My problem is, is that like, you think that you have- I want you guys to listen to this for, Lav, listen to this for a second. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, just let Lav finish. No, go ahead, Max. Out of their own control. Level fours, though, can commit chosen death, which is a conscientious choice to kill yourself, to end your existence because right. you acknowledge that this is the world. And you can or cannot make that decision. I was going to make that decision. Uh, I discussed it with friends of mine, and I had said, look, I think like I've made a pretty good argument for making this decision. And then so my friend, who's a level five, said to me, I see myself in you. You're about a decade behind from me. Okay. So yeah. I, now we're advocating for level fours can commit chosen death. Yeah, this you see how that you see like, how that comes across as like pro I believe she's not advocating. She's literally giving descriptive claims of her worldview. She's not in all in any way advocating. She's not saying four should go and kill themselves. She's just describing her worldview of what she's she, like, she's saying. It's an system. option. It is an option. Obviously, going. suicide's an option for anybody. An option. I'm, I'm not saying it's so not true. I'm saying it's bad for people to hear that. It's bad to let people know they have choice and agency and free will. In regards to suicide, Max would probably say, yeah. I think both of you guys, yeah, like, I think no, I'm no, specifically no, no, no. Suicide saying... Wait, but you're fully against is, mind. What? Yeah, I'm saying like, if you're it, luring people, if you're luring people to your channel who are vulnerable and unstable... Luring. I'm literally just talking about my life and yes, people luring has usually a predatory congregate around connotation that. To it. Do you know what that word means? I do. Why do you think she's luring? You... How is she luring and your hot, your like Collins aren't luring or anyone else's Collins aren't luring or Dr. Because K's I aren't luring? Because, well, I think Dr. K is luring. Okay. Pro it's, 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 a, it's a word used to describe the predatory intentions of the person doing the oh. attracting. So you're assuming an intention behind it. So like in your case, in the hotline, you're not luring people because there isn't an intention. But in Brittany's case, she is luring because she has this like mask 8D chess conspiracy to lure people in, get their money, establish a parasocial relationship. It doesn't have to be like that. not really fix their life. It doesn't, even, it doesn't even have to be that crazy. Like yes. you look up Brittany Simon and it says the levels, a way to observe people's introspection level. And that's okay. just like... That's that's not like how I learned to do whatever. Like people are going because you have cultivated a following. People are going to see that. People are going to trust you. People are very trusting. That's the problem. Is that no? Like, I think your problem is you do not radically accept that humans are going to human girl. I don't know what to tell you. What type like, of literally stupid no, thing to say? No, 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 listen to me right now. You guys all think you're so fucking important, and it's so boring. So you think I that am. That's what I am no, super do important. your best and call it a day. Do your best and fucking you think that there's nothing. Okay, please. You think that there's nothing you can do to influence anyone? I told you I did the best, and you would not present me with something better. Tell me what I'm not doing. Who can tell me what I've been doing no, that's so bad? No, I'm asking you a question. Why the fuck would you turn it back on me? Because the question in and of itself doesn't even make sense because you're not giving me anything to move off of. I don't understand how I'm supposed to but answer. I'm saying, oh my god, I answer, actually say like, it again. I'm say it again, girl. Say it again. I actually have never dealt with anyone this manipulative in a conversation before. I'm chill. Like, Wait, hold on. Chill on the M words. Okay, chill Steven. on. Chill on the manipulative words. Calm down. Hey, this so, fight. Okay. First of all, Brittany, are you are you super stoned I'm, right now? I'm baked as fuck, girl. Okay, that's oh, right. Destiny, are we she taking came, advantage of Brittany? Minding my business. No, 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 girl. Listen to me. I'm, I'm making plenty of clear. sense. Destiny's translating just fine. <laughs> And you guys keep sort agreeing. Of, sort of, but Destiny, Destiny and I are also kind of like Britney translators a little bit. So like, you I are. let them, but they don't Kyla, need Kyla, any I already said, Kyla, I already said, I already said this is bubbles. I'm just saying, Kyla. just to be aware, Lav, 
she's baked as fuck right now. That's okay. Here. She can talk. No, she's a big girl. Okay. No, I'm gonna go. I'm 33 years old. Relax. Into oh, wait. She lives her life in the bake zone. Okay, she can handle I it. I do. But Kyla, listen. I've already said it. It's subjective. It's not objective. It's an idea I came up with. Somebody we had experienced something. We came together, shared it with the world. Who fucking cares? I'm just a YouTuber, bro. But like, you it just doesn't it? matter. Okay. As you a thinker, it? as a thinker, as is it illegal to be a philosopher now? I'll take that title. Oh Our philosophers God. teachers all of a sudden? No, they're they're homeless men who walk yeah, around the city so preaching. This That's is me. this is this is where I'm like <laughs> this is so this is where I'm like okay. Can Britney even change her mind? Is it? It's not about. It? I can't change my mind on okay, something that like has to, uh, nothing to I'd do like with to my reality. Submit some evidence you're asking to the court. me to be Catholic. I can't. I'm an atheist. Back off. But you're so sure you're right. We've got more Britney clips no, that Max's fan base has found for him. I think that's a projection. It's not, Listen. girlfriend. I'm chilling. I never told you how to live your life. They're kind of like the. You're telling me how to tell you not. To Listen, Lab, shut exactly. the fuck up for a second. as a way not to be a burden on people or society. They're kind of like the virus of society. They cling to existence and to breathing our oxygen, but will in no way, shape, or form, no matter how much help they get, get better. We all know these people. They exist in our lives. Some suffer from mental illness. Some don't. But they come in all shapes, sizes, ages, races, backgrounds. So remember, all of the levels, all humans fall into some category. So unsatisfied fools are personally people I Okay, no matter how much help they get, they will never get better. So when you said a level yeah. one can become a level five, that doesn't actually bear out when we look at your video. Do you remember the answer together. I gave you for this already? Did I already answer this? I have like 60 plus podcasts for free. The levels isn't written down. It's a living entity. It changes over time. We do a discussion one-on-one class Oh my God, so then you're God. So then you're, I, I just don't understand. Wait. It Lab, doesn't shut matter. Up. Now she has to just prove she's not God. <laughs> shut the fuck up. I'm not Jesus God. Christ. I win. Yay. Just, in your presentation. You okay. Agree? Now you wait. Now, no, wait. No, no, no. Now you're I saying, now you're saying, on not only, not only can I not be held accountable, not only can I not be held accountable as an authority figure, now nothing I say means anything because I can just say the system changed. Even when in the video describing the system, I said that these people are a virus. You're the only one taking it seriously, bro. St what do you think she needs to do to correct it? Because if she says that she disagrees, I would agree that's a really terrible statement for me. <laughs> like, for me, no, literally. Like, terrible. I'm just a YouTuber. It's all I documented. Hear, I hear that if you I, changed If I'm mind. privated, then they won't see the growth in the levels. The levels has changed. It's literally subjective. Who's retarded enough to take it too seriously? Me. Uh, then why you not my problem. Video? Wait, so why can't you just make this video? Why can't you just make making videos make for yourself as, like, a diary? Like what? you make these videos, so once you so once you make these videos, you're like not in control of it anymore because that people can look at these videos. Okay. So why would you not? So if they mean nothing and they only help you, why would you not just have these for yourself in your own MacBook and then just be like, convinced? Like I told you, you didn't hear me. Let me say it again. I'm specifically on YouTube. I've one, it's my job, but two, I'm looking for people to have discussions with. I'm looking for people to explore ideas with. I'm looking for people who are open-minded and won't just attack me and call me Satan when they don't even know who I am. I'm a person, okay? I cry like the rest of you. I have mental illnesses like the rest of you. You are literally making me out to be a fictional now, character of your own and imagination. And asked to be- I And it's not when, okay. When I'm letting you do it. You are. You have to move on to me. Okay, I don't even know who I am. You do lab. not. The point okay, is, nobody lab. sees Britney. You guys are just deciding who she is. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna How can they say lab. you know me lab. when you don't lab. listen to me? You don't see lab. me, girl. It's okay. No lab. biggie. Okay. Lab. Shut the you fuck to... up, Max. No. I'm literally. Let me talk. Let me talk. Don't talk over you. me anymore. I'm proud of you for saying that. I've never met you. Hi. I don't agree. Honestly, after this conversation, Max, I don't agree with you at all. And you are pushing me closer to where I'm like, okay, accept Britney for who she is. This is what she does like good i at this I point i'm like Brittany for who she is at this point it's like i think that you are just it's there's this problem where both of you are just like uh, it is my it is my world is the world and that is a problem okay am i retarded so, have i not said it five times your yes. world is your world my, my world my is issue. my world Brittany, I, Brittany, Brittany, I know what you're saying Brittany, i know no, what you you're don't. saying and i can't no, help don't. you Yes, I do. Bubbles, I just, bro, I don't know. It's all just bubbles. You keep saying, I'm saying, I don't know. I'm making the claim. You guys don't believe me. I don't know. You don't know. You're all pretending to know. Okay, You're so pretending to know what we're doing Lab here. And, and I'm saying, we don't. Brittany, it's all I feel like I'm at the place in myself, Bernie, where I can. 
No, I'm saying it doesn't matter. I'm saying, why am I here? Because you're taking me seriously. Why did you pull me from Shark Tank? Because you guys think we're doing something here. You're like, oh, I gotta get Brittany Simon on this panel and we're all gonna come here. Be fair with Dan, so Dan should be talking the most. I said that there's a troll. Dan's a troll. He secretly likes me. I can tell. I can hear it, Dan. Brittany, the pro my problem is, my problem, my problem with you is now, <laughs> is that so after you've made these statements that I think we all agree, maybe everybody except you, are pretty objectively harmful to the mental health of the people hearing them. I think you're insane. I think that statement is so crazy. I told you, I am mentally ill. I'm trying to help people like me. Your system makes me want to kill myself. When you told people I was a Nazi cult leader, I literally drowned in my mind for like three days max. And then I just tell myself, it's just a guy on the internet. Brittany, get out of your BPD thought brain. You're fine. No episodes, girl. Three years clean. And I kept it, girl. No episodes. But for a minute, I was like, oh, this feels like it again. It feels like the internet's coming for me. My stalker's back again. This guy who Here's doesn't my, even see me is objectifying me on the internet and making a claim about who I am. And I'm telling you, that's cool, bro. I get it. We're all on a journey, but fucking stop it. We're all on most a journey. Abuser, I get it, bro. No, no, do you? You do you? Most, but fucking stop most it. Most abusers are also victims. So while you, oh do God, make a so compelling, emo, while you do make a compelling emotional plea. You're objectifying problem, me. I'm a real problem, person. The, the problem with what you're doing is, is that anytime anybody tries to hold you accountable, you take the victim role and you say, by trying to hold me accountable for the responsibility I'm of saying, my channel you're and the, the only messages one trying to I send out someone. to vulnerable people. I'm not Brittany. trying to stop you, Max. The problem, Why do the you problem want to stop me? The problem you think is you have the answer. I don't That's want fine. to stop you. The problem no, you is that do. when somebody tries to hold you accountable, you, per, you, you reframe <sighs> it so that they are your aggressor and you are their victim. You say nothing oh I say God, matters. Oh my God, we call that <laughs> You say you say even that. things oh, you say even I things I earlier. said in a video don't matter because my my beliefs change everything change I, I can't be held accountable to things I've said I can't be held accountable for videos that are on my channel and I can't be held accountable as an authority figure because me it's just who me I'm just silly Max Brittany who will hold me accountable that's why I'm asking you who is this person who's holding me accountable who nobody who? can hold you accountable for this unless YouTube takes your channel down or you or I think what would be better is what if you am would just I admit doing? that you said a fucking horrible thing like just be <gasps> open to talking about it and well, say to be like, fair, didn't she, she already said so, she disavowed she it right she 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 no she didn't say she anymore? no she didn't say she disavowed it I just said it was wrong and it changed. I changed my mind about it. They're gonna grow. They could totally be fives, bro. I know you because said, I had a person who came to me and said they felt like they were one, told me their life, and I was like, shit, I'm wrong. Cool, I'll update. Nice. Okay. See I'm how easy that was? Bada -bing, bada -bing. to speak to all the level twos, so. Stardust. I, I'm sorry. So, what more? What specifically? I'm just trying to understand, Max. What more would you want from her? Like when you're saying, like, she, okay, she disagrees with it now, and I'm hearing mm. you don't think that she's taking responsibility for that. I, what is the extra step that you're asking for? Like, okay, well, here's videos? what I would do. If I, if I, if somebody showed me a video of myself that in some fucking deranged fit I recorded saying that level ones, the lowest rung of people on society will never get better. They're a virus and they should kill themselves. If I sounded like, you know, a Nazi cult leader, if I saw myself saying that, the first thing I would do is I would take the video down. The second thing I would do is I'd probably upload a live stream of myself watching the video and I would say, hey, I did something really harmful. I did something that could actually hurt or even kill people. And I think it's really important that I take responsibility for this. I hear your feedback. I thank you for giving me this feedback. And let's go through the video and I wanna explain how I was wrong and I'll explain my updated views on this so that I can create a safe place. You're just mad that I've turned come. into a podcast instead? No. It's in literally all my podcasts, all my updated podcasts. Are there a lot like, of people coming out saying in that this, this like, conversation really in, and, and, and continuing in this conversation, if somebody came to me yeah, and said, so there's not, hey, so now I'm like completely moved over to Britney's side. I'm like, if this happens lab, like most lab, people. In this I, conversation, no, in this lab, this, shut like, the fuck up. Shut up now. In this conversation, if somebody came to I me mean, and said, hey, you like said, <laughs> if somebody said, hey, you said something that was really harmful potentially to, to mentally vulnerable people. What do you think I, is the likelihood I, I, that the people that you harmed uh -oh. are actually going to see you? I'm sorry, 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 sorry. That has I, nothing I, no. to do with hey, what you, you just asked me what I want her to do. Hey, you asked me what I want her to do. Maxwell, what I want her to do Max, is when Max, somebody tries to hold her accountable. Maximus, when I haven't done a lot of speaking. You know that's true. I haven't done a lot of speaking. When somebody tries to hold Maximus, let me, let me, this is breaking my heart. Then you do this. I let you finish all the time. I need to get some Satisfaction. When somebody, it's, when somebody Max. asks me, like, in, no, do not let Kyla get away with that fucking question. It's so but fucking slimy. There's always something else. No, though. no, Dan, no, no. I will not be fucking slimed out again. Hurry no, up. Fuck. You got no. 30 seconds. Okay, Go. Be fast. What I would want her to do beyond what I just described is when somebody challenges her on it, to not not take the 
to the defense, oh, I'm just silly, Brittany, it doesn't matter what I say. Then take the defense of, oh, everybody does, yo, you do this, I do that. Then take the defense of, oh, you're re-traumatizing me and I am mentally ill. I'm mentally ill, so I can't be held accountable for the mental health of people who watch my channel who are also mentally ill. After taking all of those potential exits, what when, confronted she never with does the fact, when confronted with the fact of what she actually fucking said, then she says, oh, 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 yeah, I didn't, I, oh, uh, never mind. Okay, I did disavow that. Instead, the first thing she should say is, yes, I, I have put out messages that are harmful to mentally ill people. I have done and said Max, terrible who, things. Who and I'm willing to take accountability for that. Let him finish, let him finish. I'm so bored. I'm willing to take accountability for it right now. I absolutely shouldn't have said that. You're right, and I'm on your side. Instead, she's got these other four people who have all completely fucking deluded themselves into thinking that they are emotionally and psychologically impervious to words on the internet because it's part of our job description that we fucking tell ourselves that when it's obviously not true, all on her side. But that's no, still what no, no one's no, taking a position. No, 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 no. It's my turn. God, you guys are fucking obnoxious. Okay, both of you. I want something here real quick before I do my announcement. Mr. Girl, uh, fucking Brittany, you two are the Max, worst offenders. Yeah. I want both of you, Max. when this is done, to fucking add That's up how much man. each time you guys talk, and then you're gonna realize, holy shit, I'm a fucking selfish cunt. I don't let I'm anyone else talk, especially you, you Brittany. Now, that fuck? said- I'm the that guest, said, I'm honor. That said, okay. I'm the only man in- I'm the Giga that Chad, said, you guys are all pussies. I, I am one. excited <laughs> to invite my good uh, friend who will help what? steer this Damn. conversation in the right direction. Wait, oh no. Another person? Oh god. Oh, my I don't know. Dan, we've already got you to shitster here. Do we need another okay. shitster? No. You know what? Because you're not listening to me, I had to bring in my backup. Did I tell you I was a top? His Ladies name is Chat Tudimus <laughs> Maximus here. To Guys, can the we headmaster, let's slow down the for a second? Let's slow down for God a second. Wars Academy. Because I also think I also think that this is becoming extremely unproductive, right? Wow, because just now. Sorry. Obviously, Hello. Brittany is not taking any of this seriously. She's not taking any of this seriously. So how do we just like have a completely unproductive conversation? Like, Brittany, are you strong enough to handle people just denigrating you? Like, this is I mean, starting to feel so like- far. I'm kind of, should Max, should I tell him how my panties are right now? Stop. That was no. super inappropriate and kind of sexual <sighs> harassment. Oh, guys, right. guys, guys, wait, chill, wait, chill, wait, wait, chill. No. Everyone no, relax, no, everyone so. relax. Right, listen, <laughs> everyone listen. <laughs> okay, listen, I've just joined, okay? I've got to be real with you. I'm just here to talk about child warts. No, we're, you're gonna derail the derail of the derail. Is that what we're doing, Dan? Are you serious? No. Okay, listen. I want, I want, I want Max. I want you and Brittany. To, now I want you guys to understand each other. I already said I don't see Max, and I'm okay with happen. it. Uh, okay? Is that okay? Because you, have logic, I've given you Max, marching orders. you gave all these prescriptions, Max. You gave all these prescriptions that were like, you know, you you need. If I were you, I would do this. I would do this. I need you to do this. What happens if she never does it? What happens if she never apologizes? You then she'll let just it be go. another, like another self-proclaimed mentally ill YouTuber who cannot actually help anybody. And when she hurts people, she will take the role of victim and say, "You're hurting me by trying to hold me uh, accountable." And I it's agree probably, with you. And that's what's happening. Probably so thousands of them out there, all hurting thousands of people. Yeah, uh, I agree well, with I you. But I think that Brittany's in the place where, like, she cannot right now. I don't think that she's able to introspect enough to change that. <laughs> That might be true, and I. This is why my bigger problem is with the platform itself, and not with Brittany. That makes sense. No, I, I agree with you there, and I think oh, that all that, I all, that, <laughs> all that all that we can do is just make our voices heard, so we can offset people like Brittany. Agreed. Yeah, I, me screaming in this conversation. I want I want to be clear. Me screaming in this conversation is because you keep running. You <laughs> and Kyla keep running interference for her, and it's fucking infuriating to no, not be able to so say a sentence it. without you fucking interrupting me and running you, interference you by pretending you're attacking her. It's so annoying. It's so it's so it's so stupid in such a complicated, what? slimy way. Why? It takes no, forever to explain it. But if you notice that right now, I'm yelling at you, and I'm not yelling at Britney, if I were talking to Britney about this, I would Max. just say what I, like when I did talk to Britney, when I, when I talked to Britney about it, you'll notice that my outrage is not really, I'm not so incredibly outraged at Britney, Britney I, just, I just think it's wrong and I, I just wanna say it's Max, wrong. My outrage in this conversation, conversation is because of the unbelievably irresponsible, no. slimy <laughs> interference that you run for Britney and she obviously was, for Dr. K. And it's mind blowing <laughs> that you would come here to fucking run interference <laughs> for yet another mentally ill fucking narcissist who hurts people and then claims to be a victim when anybody tries to call him out for it. Well, was it mind-blowing? Isn't it just part for the course? Why, why, can I just ask 
Brittany, why, why, why the Nazi guess, cult leader? Well, Wait, why? Wait. Why the Nazi cult leader label? Why did you call her a Nazi cult leader? Because he's bomb. He's being. He's being hyperbolic and bombastic. Brittany, does any of? Did you hear any of why? that? And are because you like? Nazis, are you like? Wait, I can see this. That some Girl, we've heard enough from some... you. Shut the fuck up, okay? No, fucking, shut up. Let me yes. respond. No, you guys are fucking. It's not okay. about Mr. Girl and fucking erudite. Can you guys shut the fuck up? All right, Christ why Almighty! Are fucking, why are we rehashing this again? You guys hate shut each up. other. We get it. Get shut over up. it. Yeah, yeah, we get it. No, uh, it's not said, about you two, said, you selfish motherfuckers. Come on. I said Nazi cult. I said Brittany, Nazi cult. Are you hearing because... anything? That yeah, Matt girly. No offense. It's like I've heard it all before. I know. I was like, uh, I. Uh, what is new? What is new? What is new? What is new? Don't you guys feel I bored? Not, so I said Nazi was... cult leader Stardust. See, see what I'm saying? The Nazis, Matt, she's not the Nazis... hearing anything. I don't the care. Issue, okay, I don't thing, give a shit, <laughs> Lav. I don't fucking care. You the reason I said Nazi. The reason I said Nazi cult leader. Is because um, thank you for asking, Stardust. The reason is that the Nazis believed that society would be better off without some people. They believed that they were a virus, sucking up oxygen, useless people that are being harmful just by existing. Almost identical to Britney's definition of a level one. And while it is a popular opinion that the Can Nazis just Brittany? targeted Jews, Jews were only made up half of the people the Nazis targeted. They also killed okay. retarded people. They killed okay, gay people. Understandable. They killed anybody who they thought I was useless, and, and so it is the conceptualizing. Can I ask you a question? I see. I see. Wait, 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 let Max finish. Wait, let Max finish. Let Max finish. As useless, useless vermin that should be put to death in this case by themselves. That I find Nazi esque. There we go. Okay, so Brittany, I have a question. Uh, so, Mr. Girl is alleging that you feel this way about level ones. Is this true? No, I didn't. I'm alleging no. that's what she said. I'm not alleging that's how she feels. Oh. I completely accept the, the possibility that? that Britney says she things. Did. And now she disagrees she did with say that. that. She did and now say you that. disagree with it, Britney. No, I said, okay, guys, I made a video, right? And I was like, this is a really hard idea. How do I get into 20 minutes? And then being a human, I got on a camera and did it and then posted it, right? And I said in that video, because at the time I thought ones weren't going to get better. I thought they were stuck in a loop. But then I met ones who got better. And I was like, oh, update. So then I updated it. It's in my content. It's all for free, literally on YouTube. The only thing I charge for it is my personal time. And the caller gets to decide what to do with it. Maybe we watch anime. Maybe we don't do anything. Maybe we just sit and look at each other because I don't know, people are weird. Maybe we talk about their life. Maybe we talk about the levels. It doesn't matter. It's not up to me. I just collect the money because my time is precious. I've, I've got a quick question because obviously, you know, if someone wants personal time, they charge a lot of money. Um, Lav, have you got any insight into this level system and having to pay money to find out more about it one on one? Just you, Lav. Thing. Um, I think that what Brittany is doing is like, is someone paying for friendship and her yes. just being there? Good point. And in, the, and in the same way where you could, okay, I'm obviously learning a lot about codependency right now. And I think that oh lord, in the, in the same way where you cannot tell a girl to stop dating her abusive boyfriend, you cannot fucking like listen. People just people do just have to find this shit out for themselves, right? And there really is like nothing you can fucking do. So if Britney, I genuinely think what Britney prescribes mm. is wrong. But if people think it's right, like we cannot change their minds. And that's where I'm at. Like I that, okay. While that may be true, it's actually a pointless thing to say in a conversation where you're confronting somebody about their harmful beliefs and statements. No, because you're trying you're to change her, her and you can't. No, I'm not. I yes, literally you am are. not trying. to go. Guys, 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 the last guys, fucking question you please. asked me was, <sighs> "What are you going to do with this change?" Even, change? Even, the answer is even, like even, nothing. Shoot, I'm not. Oh, I, 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 I can list my grievances and then she can decide whether or not to do anything with them. It seems like she's doing nothing with them. So you can yell at her. It does nothing. But well, I'm wondering, Brittany, Brittany, I'm wondering, I'm wondering, Brittany, what I level can. would you put Lav at, roughly? Where would, where would Lav sit on your level system? Oh, she seems like she's pretty secure in her bubble and doesn't want to be open-minded, so maybe a two. A two? Jeez. Maybe. Like a okay, 2B. So, Brittany, you feel which about that, Lav? ones That's of us low. on the panel would you exterminate? Which ones of us on the panel would you exterminate? Um, well, I don't know Lav very well, so not her. Uh, Dan, I actually think likes me, so I like him, so he'll stay like. Uh, to be clear, I actually um, fucking hate you. I, yeah, it's not I a joke. You. No, no, okay, like, I don't no, want no, to I think I like. You. I secretly no, no. like you, and we're gonna be friends. Yeah. Which one of us? If I saw you, I would, would cross the street. Jesus. I don't think any of you are, are both useless to yourselves or your communities, as far as I know. So you're neither, you neither. None of you could be ones. Okay, and we all recognize that this is fucking retarded, right? Like we all yes, recognize we do. That this this yes, means we nothing to us. Yes, we do. system. It's, the level system is, is retarded. Brittany is obviously harming people by telling people that they should level people. 
clearly, right? And so no. everyone watching no. this, what Britney yeah. is doing no. is wrong. Am I being on the internet right now? Yeah. What Brittany is doing is wrong. Her her life and her brain is not the way that society exists. She is in a delusion. And okay, she's wait, hold on, wait, 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 real quick. We're no, using Stephen. Uh, this sounds like something wait, a level we're using one. A lot, would wait, say. stop, 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 stop. Hold on. We're using a lot of we're using a lot of really strong words. Okay, here's the reality. Wait, real quick, just real quick. Everybody has ways that they view the world and organize people, okay? We write people off in different ways. We get close to people in different ways, right? Brittany has a more formalized system, which leaves it more vulnerable to attack, I agree. But to, to dismiss somebody's way of viewing the world is silly when we all have individual ways of viewing the world. Wait a second, and wait, also, a second wait, wait, wait a second, wait a second. What's your way, dismissing? Destiny? Wait, 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 yeah, wait. Wait a minute. People. I wanna hear from Destiny. Destiny. Wait, wait, okay. wait, 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 wait. Dismissing people is coded into her worldview. While I agree that we all, unfortunately, as like a vice, slip into dismissing people, I don't think any of the rest of us are going out saying you should dismiss okay, people. Okay, number one, you're wrong. You're dead wrong. It is a crucial, it is probably one of the most important things for a human to do to be able to dismiss people. I know you know that and you as, just said something because you weren't thinking, no, no. but yes, hold on. No, yeah, yeah you, no, it is one of the most- as, as anything. As, as, sub, as subhuman useless as, people? As, no, as nobody that you would want in your life. This is literally That's one of the most totally, important it's skills. Totally agreed, totally okay. agreed. But I'm talking, we're ta I, I thought you meant dismiss people like in a, in a systemic, you are useless and a, and, a, and a vampire on society type of You dismissal. can do that if you want. If Britney was advocating violence or something, no, I would- No, you can't do that if you want. What it's wrong, don't zero. just fucking slip that in there. It is wrong to do that. <laughs> okay, while I, we, all, we, all, we all might do it by accident, Britney is the only person who is calling to do it. I don't know. Call, okay, wait, Brittany, I, I guess are you I calling to okay. exterminate level ones or level zeros? No, I don't. Well, have no, she. Ever, hold on. It's not. No, it's not about I mean, explicitly. Not a fair yeah, question. Wait, and also, hold on. That's also not Max's criticism. Max's criticism is not that she's calling to exterminate somebody. Max's criticism is that her system is leading people who adopt it to write off people wholesale and view them as worthless to society. Not that he's calling for extermination. So if you're gonna and if they're it, suicidal, it'll make them more exactly. Yeah. So, so at Max's least, argument yeah. is that people will misunderstand my work and take it in the wrong way and hurt themselves. Or, but, or even more. Sure. I, I am aiming that way. I am aiming that way. I understand this, but I radically accept that humans are going to human. I try my best with disclaimers. I speak very clearly. I try my best within my language. I'm neurodivergent. I'm a little special. I'm going to use that as a little getaway card. You know why? Because you're not giving me anything. I'm not intelligent, so I can't make decisions. I'm so intelligent. I'm tricking you. Make a decision. I'm a person. I went through something. I shared it with the internet. I want to find people who are like me and who want to have a discussion. I'm a human. You well, I'm just, I'm just looking at your I'm Patreon like here. Sorry, I'm just looking yeah. at your Patreon here, right? And the top level is 250 bucks for an hour-long yeah. call. And the first option I can see is personal chat, help with your journey through the levels. I know you don't want to, don't want to give the game away too much, but what, what would I be in for in one of those calls talking about the levels, just roughly? You can do a call right now. You want to do one? Yeah, sure. Go on. Okay, so you've called me. What do you do with Lav? Me? Do it with Lav. Do it with Lav. Lav's oh, a level two. Let's no, get do it with Chad. No, no, do it with me. Do it with me. Do it with me. Do it with me. No, I want to do it. Wait, hold on. Chad literally has a... Chad is in blackface right now. No, let Lav do it. Let Lav do it. Let Lav do it. Chad is in blackface. We don't want to give him more attention. We don't know if Chad is black yet. I could be I think a multitude of races. Okay, Brittany, 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 I called, yeah. I, I found your video and I'm like in a really, really tough spot. I like my, my fiance just left me. Um, I have BPD and I feel like I really need like someone who really knows and who's like ascended to give me advice. Oh, okay. First of all, red flag. Um, hi, I'm Brittany. I'm happy uh, to talk with you. I, I'm hearing a little, like that's complicated, right? Thanks for telling me who you are, but um. Red flag on ascending. I don't know what that means. Can you give me, like, in your language, what that means? So, like, if you're a level five and I'm, like, a level, like, two, then, like, obviously I want to know, I want to know how to get to your level, which is, like, seemingly the highest introspection level. Like, I want to be as introspective as you. Uh, for sure. Uh, why? Uh, because it seems like it's, it's, I, I want to get better. I want to feel better. Oh, dude, you don't have to be five to get better. You don't have to be anything but yourself and follow your joy. Simple pimple, right? So, like, what's really going on? So, you have borderline. Do you see a therapist? Yes. Perfect. Okay, so that's handled. Let's talk about being a whole human being. So, mental health, handled. How's your money? You financially okay? Is job, work okay? Yeah, great. Perfect. Okay. What about your fitness, your health, your relationship with your body? Great. What? Okay, girl, well, shoot, okay. Um, what about your spiritual health, your connection to like the universe or your religion or what do you believe in? Yeah, I guess I don't believe in anything. I'm feeling kind of uh, like boundless. Like I'm feeling like a lost, I'm feeling it like lost in the dark. 
For sure. Okay, perfect. So we have like one we have to work on, right? How about your trope in the anime, your trope in the story? Do you know who you are? Like, you know how we're all kind of tropes? Like, someone's like the alpha masculine Giga Chat. Someone's the bisexual bottom boy like Destiny. Someone's like the angry like activist like Mr. Girl, right? <laughs> so like, what are you? Like, what's your trope? I think I'm a floater. I think that I go in and out Ooh. of things. Ooh. Okay, I like that. I like that. Um, how, how, how long have you been watching my work? Uh... uh uh, uh, two weeks. <laughs> two weeks? Okay, I'm trying perfect. to figure out a thing. I've never, yeah. Wait, can two I weeks. just, just want to touch in quickly, Lav. Do you feel like you got value for money? Bear in mind, this would normally be $250. You spent 250 bucks, value for money, yes or no? Or do you well, feel like it yet, was I don't know. I don't, I don't know if she's going to change me yet. Just sure, like but just three minutes. No, sure, yeah. but just an initial feeling. Like, are you thinking, I'm glad I spent 250 bucks, or are you going to be thinking, like... Okay, this hold on, stop. This money. is such a... Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 wait, stop. I'm going to kick people. I'll kick people. Hold on, stop. This is a fucking stupid thing, okay? You would answer these same questions for a fucking two thousand dollar doctor visit, okay? Well, you can't you can't ask that question like two minutes into questioning. Getting like a formal baseline evaluation of a person is going to be essential to literally any appointment you'll ever take in your entire life. Like, how can you stop right now? Like, you go into a doctor, they take your blood pressure and they take your temperature. And you're like, do you feel like you're getting your money's worth? Well, no, they haven't done anything yet. Sorry, that was just an exceptionally. Wait a second, question. are you really saying what's happening now is comparable to someone taking your blood pressure? That seems fucking retarded. Oh my God. Yes. Yeah, hold on. Man. Actually, oh. I will compare this. If somebody used to build Wait, computers- Wait, guys, I'm enjoying my I'm about to kick call. you. Stop. Okay, listen. One of the most important things that you can do with a meeting for anybody, this is actually, I'll give you a heuristic that I can use to test if somebody's fucking full of shit every single time I listen to somebody. And I apply the shit test to every person I meet in my entire life, okay? When people would come to me or when people go to somebody, they ask to build a computer, okay? The number one most important question you have to ask before you even begin to recommend parts is what are you gonna use it for? If somebody starts rattling off part lists before they even know what the computer's for, they have no idea what the fuck they're talking about. If somebody goes to somebody else for help or, they, or they're hurting in some way, they're trying to figure it out and the other person doesn't even try to establish a baseline for where that person is at and they just start saying okay well listen up this is what you need to do you got to go out to the bar and party you got to do the blah 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 wait what? you don't know that you have to figure out a baseline of where this person is even at so that you know where to meet them so her questioning in terms of figuring out like hey how's your health here how do you feel about this how do you do that how do you feel about this that is essential to even begin the conversation if you try to begin the conversation without doing that you're selling snake oil every time just in my opinion sorry okay feels pretty my lady. Lady. Do <laughs> just to understand like do you guys have an issue with life coaches I think if someone has like expertise, um, no, life coaches can just, anyone can be a life coach. You just have to call yourself a life coach. There's not really even a registration. Do we have an issue? Cause they exist. Yeah. By the way. There's lots of them. Are yeah. we okay with that? No, I feel like, I feel like Sorry. that, no, I feel like that's spooky, right? The potentiality for harm is like really big. I'm afraid think, of the world think, sometimes too, girly. I think it depends, but I think that, um, Life coaches should not work with mentally ill people, and I think I that people who I think people who broadcast that they themselves are mentally ill should not be life coaches. I agree also with that. Wait, Sorry. hold on. Wait, wait a second. Do, hold on. I'm curious if you would commit to. When comes up and says that they're mentally ill, do you continue to treat them and, and start becoming their therapist? I'm not That's a therapist, different. but like I reached so them. Like I came up to you and I said, "Yeah, I have really bad borderline, and I don't know what to do." And you said, "I'm I, I'm not getting therapy." What would you no, say? No, no, no. Oh. Even if you are getting therapy, I don't think she should work with you, is my stance. Wait, can I, can I wait? Can I probe that a little? I don't think you actually believe that. There's two parts to this. One, you said that if somebody has a particular type of mental illness, they shouldn't be a life coach. And the second was that you shouldn't work with people with mental illness. So on the first part, I'm pretty sure, I could be wrong on this, but I don't think you're ever considered like curative borderline. So if, you, if you've if ever diagnosed with, with borderline, I think you kind of have it okay. forever. Like I don't think that a therapist is like, oh, mm -hmm. like you've cured it. That's something you manage forever. So you think those people should be cut off from all forms of like life coaching for everybody else? Yeah. To um, some degree, well, no. yeah. Wait, 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 wait. When I say you shouldn't do it. I'm not saying it should be illegal. I'm oh, no, no, I'm not. At, yeah, we're just talking morals right now. I know it's just your opinion. Okay, yes, right? I, th I think I think if uh, if you have borderline, I think your therapist should determine whether or not you can handle a life coaching relationship. Because the thing about borderline is you're really bad with boundaries, and anybody who has bad boundaries themselves is really going to fuck you up and hurt you a lot more, even if you exactly. think you're having a nice time, and even if you think they're being nice to you. Sure. So you can only have relationships mm -hmm. with people who are going to be very, very careful and highly trained in maintaining relationship boundaries. Sure, that's that's true and that's fair, but there are okay. there, there could be a multitude of mental illnesses that can inhibit your ability to, to form like boundaries, right? So 
all of the cluster B yeah. diagnoses, theoretically, yeah, right? I don't, I don't think so, a life coach should work with any of those people. No, 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 hold on, wait, I'm just talking about who could be a life coach. It just seems, that seems like an extreme statement oh. that if you've ever been diagnosed with any cluster B disorder, like your mental illness, like you can't, or personality disorder. That's not what disorder. I said, I said sure. if you are going but, around I mean, broadcasting yourself as mentally ill, I don't think you should be a life I coach. I think she broadcasts you, herself as like having why borderline. Why is it bad to say that certain wait, people wait, wait, can't wait, have certain jobs? Hold on, let me finish, wait, oh my God have an addiction history. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm just saying that like to have, first of all- Addiction history is different from going around labeling yeah, if, yourself as a mentally yeah, ill person. If, if you I, label I don't think, yourself publicly as mentally ill, I don't think you should be a life coach. Okay, somebody can correct me if I heard this incorrectly, but I thought I heard Brittany earlier say something like she hadn't had an episode in three years or something. Correct. So if it is the case that you were like, if Brittany was telling me like, oh yeah, like I have episodes all the time, like I'm super borderline, like just yesterday, then I think that, that there's a strong argument for that. But I think that if you're managing some mental illness or some long-term thing, I don't think that, that prohibits you from offering advice or trying to help other people, even in the capacity of a life coach. That seems like a pretty extreme stance to take. Brittany, but, do you consider yourself mentally ill now? Yeah, but I'm in recovery, um, but I also manage yeah. any episodes or issues. Yeah, so I, just, and I think if the answer to that question is yes, you should. You know, Marsha like Linehan also has borderline and she created DBT. I don't get to see the issue, except Most it's like ableist, right? consider themselves always borderline. They can go into remission with symptoms, but most yeah, borderline people always- Yeah, I don't think borderline people should, I think, okay, I don't have a kind view of life coaching as like a profession. So if any, I'm very eager to disqualify anybody from having it. If you're borderline, I don't think you should be a life coach i don't think having relationships should be your job I'm do you think that real quick real quick on that, on that a little bit a little bit deeper on that thing because i'm curious would you also carry that over to therapists do you think that therapists that are a borderlines in remission do you think they shouldn't have because their potential for abuse is much higher i would say yes they should not be therapists oh, okay so then Marcia Linehan, okay. the founder of dbt should just probably be tossed out she should never work again I don't know. What does she do? She works. She's borderline patients. and she developed the treatment for borderline. But I had. Line. Yeah, because DBT, DBT was literally developed because CBT didn't work on borderline people. Right. Does she work with patients directly? Yes. Yes. And trains practitioners. Does she work well, with patients one on one? Yeah. I'm then it's sure a question of like. Hard. Then, yeah, I guess I guess I don't think she should work with people one on one. Okay, so okay, so let's okay, geez, okay, so let's get rid of that. We'll, we'll, okay, I understand we disagree. That's fine. But then on the flip side, life coaching should only be available mm -hmm. to people that are like super mentally healthy. If you have a mental illness, but you see a therapist and you're working on it, you take medication, you whatever. You, life coaching is just something you should never participate in. If the therapist okay's it, then I think it's fine. But okay. I don't think I don't think you should see a life coach if you're mentally ill. Who is this therapist? The therapist? Whatever therapist, the person, whatever, whatever, whatever the therapist person, person is saying. Yeah. I'm not a life coach. I am a YouTuber. Okay, wait, real quick. Hold on, Brittany. You are a life coach, that's right? Not, no, no, no. Right. I'm literally not. You challenge me. If I, if I, if I, you for now. Wait, hold on, real quick. We're gonna all talk. Okay. Go ahead. I literally fight. Like I'm. Look, I'm telling you right now. I'm. I was at a crossroads with this. Like, do I want to be like Grant Cardone? No, he's a scam artist. I don't want to be. What's his name? Like, I don't know any of these guys. I want to be these fucking like entrepreneurs. So Listen I to me. Make the I'm just sharing this is the my life. This is the moment. And this is the. Hey, this people is the pay for my time. Think, no, this is like the anti-sex work argument. You guys think people are bad because you have bad experiences or you see the world is bad. Yes, it is bad. I am trying my best. I am not a bad person. You are Do not your project this your insecurities most, onto me. This is the most unethical part when of what you do. No, 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 oh listen God. to me. When You're telling me somebody... that I don't have agency. You don't believe in bodily autonomy. You want someone to control me. You think I'm mentally ill. I know, I'm borderline. I get it. I've already read all the threads on Reddit. I get it. It's fucked up. Okay. And you know it, Max. Okay. And you know I would it. Like to res I would like to respond. I think this is the moment that I was talking about where, where I, what I think is the most unethical part of what you do. When people try to, in good faith, hold you accountable for your actions. It's not good your, faith. You just don't see your, me. You just it, see me as a crazy person, which is just what everyone else sees me as. When people try to hold you accountable, except my therapist, except Steven, my friends that Steven, see me. Why doesn't Steven, Steven think is, I'm insane? Does Kyla think I'm I insane? Think, if so, then I'm under an illusion. Maybe I am. I think Steven is in good faith questioning your um, what is what about right my and what parents? is wrong. I hold a job. I pay taxes. What is What's wrong going with me? On? I, I think, I think Steven, laughs, don't laugh. Shut up. I know it's very distracting, but you got to keep your eye on the fucking ball. I think no, Steven is in Max, good faith. Laugh, shut the fuck up. Shut up. Steven, I think Still in good faith, you're asking yeah. questions about, I think you're asking questions about life coaching in good faith. In response, Brittany, you're saying, oh, I'm not a life coach. And is that moment where you're unwilling to have a conversation where you even answer a question about the morality or 
ethics of what you do, that is you at okay. your most unethical. And and the playbook always comes out that you bring. No, no, wait, stop. Can we eject the meta conversation? Let's wait, wait, wait. Let's just you, wait, reframe let's, it yep. so that you're wait, wait, wait. She did that. Time. Wait, she. Did, I agree. She did that. But let's just eject the meta yes. conversation. Just pursue the line of questioning. Okay, just do that instead of having the meta framing of like this. Is what you're doing. Just so here's a question, Brittany. Do you think that it's reasonable that somebody could view your services as that of a life coach? If I go to buy your Patreon, yes. I'm looking for life coaching, essentially, right? Yeah, and okay. so I call it mentorship, and sure. I tell them, hey, what I do here is like, I just share my life, I chill with you, bro. I'm mm -hmm. not a professional, I'm a college dropout. Sure, but the I goal is people help. are ultimately like trying to buy guidance from you, because they feel no, like- No, that's the problem, that's the misconception. It's whatever the caller wants. I'm not here to talk about it. I've been talking to people for years that watch anime with me, that like literally sure, hold never on. talk I about the levels. Diversion, don't care. No. Wait, wait, hold on. No, 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 it's not a diversion. You know, it's diversion because it. because with the conversation you have. That's why we with... negotiate. We talk about consent. I say, how's your mental health? I send you to the professionals. Mm -hmm. I'm just a person. The only thing they can come to me for is a whiteboard. I am just a sure. mirror. So they tell me their thoughts. I problem solve like a puzzle because I like puzzles. Gotcha. And then I give it back when, to them. When somebody say, oh, comes does that help when somebody, you? yeah. So what you're describing right there could be seen as. If they need it. Sure. Is a form of life coaching. Right. If I come to you and I say, like, I, I, I disagree because life coaching lives in a bubble where people are like this and they're like selling you, a, I'm an expert. How can you be an expert in life? I'm I'm not an expert in life. I only know my life. I'm an expert in Britney's life. And I'm using Britney's tools to with the world if it helps them. And if it doesn't, totally get it. I'm so sorry. I wish you the best. Most of the time, if people get blocked, they get refunded. Okay. Right? I'm really I understand. Courteous. I understand. I understand what I you're saying. Best. I understand what you're saying. No. No, you don't. You're I, not I do. I, no, no, you're, you're not saying. I understand what you're saying. That's but the, fine. No, no, That's wait. fine. Just like sex work is different everywhere. No, 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 no we're not talking about sex work. Hold on. This is so No, no, but you are. You're just, you're, I agree. I'm in a subset of but I'm not as important as you're making me sound. No, I'm no one is trying to make you sound important, Chilling. okay? You just, you have a you <laughs> much narrower definition of life coach than I think what a lot of people would have. Uh, because I think there are a lot no, of people that yeah. would say that like, oh, like a life coach could be a dude that, you know, goes with you and walks to the park and helps you feed ducks to find happiness. Some people might oh, say like, okay. oh, that's like a form of life that's coaching. That's fine. Sure. If you want to call me life coach, I'm okay with it. It's okay. just not how I see myself. But you, yeah, but you don't so sell like, you. you don't sell I like- think a, you, I think you wait, said people come to you as puzzles and then you solve stop. them. Sure. So, if that's what they want. Some people just watch anime with me. Some people never talk about the levels. Some people just like want to play games with me. I don't get it. Yeah, we're not, wanted, we're, not, we're, not, we're not talking about the other people. We're talking about the people that are coming to you for some sort of guidance. That it's fair to say that this is okay. like a form of life coaching. Yes, now you're not I selling a like a heart. Yeah, okay, sure. Okay. I like that word better. Isn't that a better word? You can I use like it as better. everywhere, but it's uh, but to people it, like Mr. Girl, you're gonna sound evasive when you say that, right? Yeah. But Erudite, I agree. I'm okay with this. Can we agree to live and let live or no? Do I have to be holden to someone else's ethics right. when I'm, I'm just, just a person? For, yeah, I'm just saying for when you're engaging with Max in his bubble, especially, it's gonna be more helpful if you identify as a life coach and just bite that bullet. Okay, that's fine, but you're asking me to divert my reality into his so we can talk, correct? Uh, yeah. yeah, that's what we have to do okay. when we talk to different people. We have to make our realities kind of convert. Yes, right? you could call me a life coach, I agree. Okay, okay. What's the issue? The issue is that when people try to hold you accountable about mm -hmm. your ethical, the ethics of your behavior, you are extremely resistant and evasive and it is, takes forever to get you to answer a question or even acknowledge that you're doing what you're doing. And I think that is uh, one of the most unethical parts of what you do. I know, but I don't know what the issue is because I'm following my values. So what's the problem? The problem is that you don't take responsibility for anything. Okay, wait, hold on. Tell her something she doesn't take responsibility. Instead of having the meta level conversation telling her what she does, just okay. point out a particular thing that you don't think she takes responsibility for. And then go, yeah. Okay, so uh, in the conversation with Lav, mm -hmm. you're modeling for us how you would get to know her and then help her with whatever is wrong with her life. Mm -hmm. If you are taking that position of authority, I think it's irresponsible for you. I mean, the, the meta conversation is the conversation. The problem is that we, that it's irresponsible for there to be no recourse for anybody that you harm in the course of doing this. And I think you're probably likely attracting a very vulnerable population. I just disagree with the people. I'm expensive, so you can assume I am getting college educated or at least well off people. I'm usually working with people with money. If they don't have money, I have a payment system for that. And they're usually people who are very introspective. That's usually why they find me. I'm not just any channel, right? I'm a niche. That means my customer client base is niche. They're all old. They're usually about my age or older. I have people all the way into their 80s, right? I've I would say, literally- I would say they, either, they either are desperate to look for help or need help for some reason, or they have a parasocial relationship with you or both. I, I understand that. Is, What's the payment system? The you can split the payment, can you, or something? No, there's just a price for people, like a uh, original price that I for used to pause. do call that. And then, well, I have a new price now because the demand is there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I want to have a baby and own a house and get married. So I got to make a living. I live in America. So I'm the breadwinner. So my 
so miss just whatever you find unethical about life coaching in general i th I, I have some i think the scam I'm, part i, I, I have a problem with i'm just not offering any i've never lied i don't lie so i don't lie okay. about what i do so again my, if my people don't like their call they you, get a refund and i thank them for their problem, time if anyone ever complains you, they get a refund and i say thank you so much obviously i wasn't helpful but like not i'm not trying to harm anyone no about. you're I'm asking me someone. to join other people's realities and decide i have harmed them when i have within my values stuck to my values consent i check their mental health i ask if they're working with professionals i do all of my things max you're okay, asking so me to read minds or be something Yes, the there's a path of ethics that, according to Britney's values that allow me to stay in line. The fact that all of these the safeguards are necessary. In yes, order of course to they're necessary. Somebody, I'm even, a human. Even I've had a stalker. Mental health coaching, anybody I understand. Kind of life my life is in danger. You're right. Of course, I'm afraid for my life. I keep myself safe you, by creating I'm not rules and about boundaries. You being the victim. I'm I know because about, you're objectifying me as some villain when I'm okay, actually as much of a so victim as a possible caller. Okay, which is why together we have to keep each other safe by not over by not objectifying me. No, you you so I don't understand, guys. I'm a person. Answer, Steven, Steven, Steven. Yep. The problem with this conversation is that 90% of my energy is going into even being able to, to speak in the conversation. I can answer your question. I have three criticisms, or we can move on to something else. Either way. You guys are oh, very yeah. similar. Um, no. no, <laughs> um, no I don't think so. In every way. No, they're, they're I do not. No, I, uh, no, in different places, but I think that they are no, they're wholly similar awesome. in the way that they keep those values. She's yeah. right. There's a part no, of Max and I that are the like same, the but it's very subjectivist you're ever going Yeah, no, to there's a part. Max is not There's a all. part. <laughs> no, no, no. She sees it. She laughs, sees a part of me you guys can't see because there is a part of me and Max are the same. I just don't know which part it is. I think it's probably our cynicism. Okay, if you want to do some like very base level of like, oh, you're both excited to stream, yeah, then sure. I but like, I wonder. No, no, no. I no. I wonder if I wonder if Max, because you've said that I, you hate, you hated me because you saw I, those parts of yourself. I believe, I believe I said that you're my tumor. Okay. Do Do you feel similar with Brittany? Because I I feel like you kind of do similar things in that. Oh, I don't Max, know. If you're Max, I don't know. I don't yeah. know if you're mentally ill because you haven't like broadcasted here is my diagnosis like Brittany has but you do also <sighs> sort of in your own way give prescriptions so i'm also wondering if she's saying that she Man, and you're I have based. a problem i have a problem with the way that Brittany is saying that she's like and these are the rules for introspection obviously Brittany, you probably realize that there are things that you could do better to Always. avoid that sure uh -huh. but i sure. wonder if you are just picking up on the parasociality that you are afraid of that you're going to Fall into. Okay, hold on. No, no, wait. No, I don't want. No, no. Hold on. I don't want a twenty-minute explanation. Stop. Okay, I'm gonna do this in twenty seconds. I don't, I'm it's, saying I'm happy to answer that later. Yeah, I, later. Okay, I'll answer it right now. Okay, it's very quick. It's very simple. Okay, it, similar to the vein of Dr. K, Max doesn't like people coming out with supposed credentials and engaging in relationships that require a large number of external rules to make sure that those relationships are maintained in the most ethical ways possible. There's two big parts of being ethical. One is that you have a set of rules that you follow, and then two is that there's some kind of accountability created to make sure that there's some external part or something keeping you honest in that relationship. And similar to Dr. K, he views that Brittany is engaging in relationships, one, in a somewhat unethical way, and then two, in a way that helps her avoid accountability, because anytime you try to pressure her on her lack of ethicalness, she he feels that she's dancing between two positions of, you know, I, I have, I'm a level five and I figured it out, I'm gonna help people figure that out. And well, I'm just a YouTuber who knows nothing and does nothing and whatever I do is like all memes. That, so that's Max's problem. It's not that he sees something in her or whatever, it's that he feels like she's selling herself as a credentialed person, even if she's not saying that she's credentialed, and that he's engaged and she's engaging in relationships that are kind of unethical and don't have any accountability. That's the issue. Do you think, is that a fair summary, Max? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and even if, I don't think you're psychologically equipped to provide the safety rails that are necessary for this kind of relation. I don't think anybody is really individually. I think everybody needs some kind of like supervision or like very hyper specific training, but you in particular seem like you are not equipped to provide these safeguards and boundaries to protect the people that come to you for help. You also I don't understand. I can't be a philosopher. I don't understand what's you happening. You also, you're not a philosopher. You're some kind of coach, guru, help. I think I'm more of a thinker person. and a philosopher. That's how I identify. That, okay, I'm Rand. I'm, the, I'm Diogenes. I'm Socrates. I'm just a thinker, okay. bro. So here are, my, here are my three problems. One, okay. you seem like you're psychologically ill-equipped to provide the kind of safeguards and boundaries that people need to stay safe. Two, <sighs> you, you will not be held accountable and seem to not Those even things. be able to answer simple questions about what it is that you do exactly with people. I thought I did great with Kyla. And three, and three. You're your just mad I don't system, take you seriously, Max. 
Grow and up. Three, and three, your level system espouses a worldview that defines part of society as cancerous. Why I think bro, that is harmful. Pedophiles are cancerous. That is harmful. Yeah. That that is, is, I think that is, are I, cancerous. I'm so bored I by think, you, bro. You think, know for a fact there's a part of the population I you don't like. Dr. To, to, I think it all. is harmful to keeping it all. I think it is harmful to the exact population You're lying. You're 100% lying. I think it is harmful to the exact population You're lying to yourself. I Wait, let him finish, let him finish, let him finish, let him finish. I let think it is harmful <gasps> to the exact population of vulnerable, desperate people that your channel attracts to hear that they are useless. You don't know my audience. Stop projecting. You don't. My audience is strong and amazing and thoughtful and introspective. Fuck off. Don't, don't tell me who so my those, audience is. So, the, so those, in brief, those are my three problems with you ethically. I feel you, bro. I hear you. Thank you for your input. I'll put your notes next to my mother's who tells me to stop being gay. <laughs> And right. Right. again, when you're when confronted Literally, with criticism, I don't live in your bubble. When confronted with criticism, no, 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 when confronted, with criticism, when confronted with criticism every next? single time, there's a reframe where I'm in the abusive mother and you yours? are the helpless child. I'm in the abusive world? mother and you're the helpless child and I'm shaming you or I'm the evil no, Reddit thread and you're the person who is struggling with episodes of whatever. Every single so time not, you, you wait, dodge Max, criticism. Are you not so trying to is, change her but you also want her to like listen to your criticisms and take them seriously? How are these two things compatible? Wait, do, you, do you see uh, what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm saying now? Now Max is making a prescription for Britney. Do you see why? Max, I said that wait, hold on. Max has always her? made a prescription for Britney. He's not denying always. that. He would never. Yeah. Deny no, that. I know, I know. But now Max is also saying that his way, his prescription okay. is like the Lab. one. Yeah, of and course he is. He yeah. is the master yeah. of Lab. ethics. Lab. So okay, this is okay, why guys. I'm like, so you Lab are getting Kyla. mad at Lab Britney for well, what you are doing. Names. If you're you say people's laugh. names, they shut up because they think that you're talking specifically them. Lav and Kyla, and I'll just give a monologue. I was going to say anyway. Lav and Kyla, guys. Um, there's a, you need to stay laser focused on what you're doing in mm. a conversation. So there's a difference between me My having God, a prescription, me having a prescription that I'm describing in this conversation, or the point of the conversation is to give the prescription to Brittany and have her accept it. It's not the second one. The point of this conversation She's not for accepting me, it. My goal, what are you doing then? I know, I know, that's what I'm saying to you. My goal in the conversation is not to have her accept the prescription. I think it's very unlikely she's gonna do that. My goal is just to- Denigrate um, her. No, no, it's not about her. My goal is to just say what the prescription is and give her a chance to respond to it, whatever her response is. But you have, and she's rejected it. And she says, I don't like, care what you have to yes. say. And then you're going yes. on to try to basically argue why she should care about what you have to say. Yes. Well, because we're all you're speaking. Trying, to, we're all trying speaking. to shake her and wake her up. No, 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 no. Hold on, doing. chill. We're speaking no. in front of an audience. No. I think the goal is to just bring in a, like, I don't think I could be wrong, but I don't think Max is making videos about Dr. K to change Dr. K's mind on what he's doing. He's never going to do that. And I think he knows yeah. that. No. The goal is to bring an awareness about a, a particular thing so that other people know that, so that his position is made clear. And that's probably the issue. To stop a bad behavior should be Max's number one goal. I'm sure it is. No, it's not this. It's to bring awareness about it. If it stops it as a byproduct, that'd I be said great. Earlier. But this is all we can do. Yeah, this, yeah, this. but not this specific bad behavior. And I also want to. I also want to raise awareness about the vulnerable position that we're all in, as streamers and as the streamer audience, to all the things that we're susceptible to. And I, and like as I said before, my biggest problem was with YouTube for facilitating and monetizing these, and probably Patreon for facilitating and monetizing these kinds of relationships without the safeguards that you would need. Um, in, in like the real world. Nice job, guys. Wow. Are you happy, Dan? We got there in the end. You feel good about what Not you've done? Really. Oh, no. Dan, it seems like what you have towards Brittany. Do you think it's possible that you could just like not like Brittany <laughs> and that's okay? Of course, he hates Brittany. No, but yeah. but I, I I think that is it possible that like we could all not like someone and not like what they're doing and then also like, I mean, if, if you try at first you try and you do not succeed, uh, you can keep trying, but at some point you need to be like, oh, this is like not good for me. And I would, I would tell Max that he, that what he's doing with Dr. K is very you're running, similar. You're, you're running interference for Brittany and Dr. K. Also, I like Brittany. I even like Dr. K. I'll be watching okay, his but, videos but and I, ch I chuckle I, with him. He's a funny guy. He's a funny, likable guy. I get it. And I get why people like Brittany. I like Brittany. I like Brittany Simon. What the fuck? I'm... You're outclassed here, Lev, is really what it is. Okay, you don't even know what realm you're in. Dude, <laughs> at this Mr. Go, do you like Lev? Do you like Lev, Mr. Go? Do I? Uh, yeah, I like Lev. Who do you like more? <laughs> Stop. You didn't, you're a little bit less certain on that one, let's be honest. This question, I asked this question to Destiny earlier. It was just a meme. It was just no, a meme. No, it's not. Okay, Dan, are you happy with where we're at? What do, you want, do you want to push them in any other direction, or are you content now? Dan, why don't you, you used us as, you used me 
as a pawn in your little game. Yeah, because Dan doesn't get it. Of course. Yeah, well, we said that's that, what like, you, you think there's a lot of Britneys yeah, out there? So there's even more Dan. Because of that, so watch out for do that. You have, do you have Jerry's final thoughts for Britney? Who's Jerry? Jerry Springer. Wow, am I the only one who grew up poor here? You don't know who no, Jerry, Jerry Springer, Springer is, but what's no, that reference to? Yeah, yeah, what do you mean? Because you're, you're Jerry Springer, like Jerry you bring Springer. the people on, you goad them on, you're like oh. Mario. Or Jerry yes. Oh. Jerry's final thoughts. You like Jerry comes on afterwards and is like, every from the audience. Let me let me see if I can put some pieces together. I guess a little bit here. So, let me ask some questions. Get you guys on the same page here. So, <laughs> um, Lev, do you feel like? Brittany has made any changes as a result of conversation today, or do you think she's strengthened in her views and, and is going to keep doing what she's doing exactly as she was doing it? So I, my hope is that she does take this and maybe is like, okay, there are things that I can change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but also I think, I think there's only so much you can do and say to get someone to change before you just kind of have to be like, yep, this is who they are and it's not my problem anymore. Um, and I think that that is the healthiest choice. So you're giving up on Brittany. You basically think she's a lost cause, she's not gonna make any changes, and you're done. You're done making it your problem. Well, no, it's the same reason, like, if <laughs> it's the same way if you're dating someone who's dating a very toxic guy. It's like, they need to learn for themselves. And here's another thing that I was gonna ask Max, like, would anyone change your mind? Like, if a, if a Brittany viewer was like, I fucking loved it, it gave me everything, like, I loved it so much. Like, would you be like, no? No, no nothing well, would change well, his mind well, because well, that it would be like it would be like asking twenty people who ended up in a relationship when they were twelve and the other person was eighteen, and at the end of it all, all of them were like, oh yeah, it actually turned out really good. That wouldn't change the the thing because there could still be harm there that nobody could ever measure or see, and it's always like prone yeah, to highly yeah. exploitative behavior. Yeah, exactly. We have to look at the we have to look at the positives and the, the net positives also because like with DBT, well, you think that someone with well, with well, you think that someone with well, BPD shouldn't have access to people but obviously like there's so much good that's been done with the creator wow. of dbt shut the fuck wow. up max let me fucking talk you've been monologuing for like th three fucking hours i'm asking you a question i'm trying to answer the question but you're going to ask a new one by the time you're done asking it i want to hear you love okay the problem with your question <laughs> is that your your for, your formula your formulation <laughs> your formulation is is britney useless is there any value to Britney, right? And, the, the, and that's the same criticism I have of Britney is that I don't think people are useless. It's, no, it's not. Wait, 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 wait. In your example, in your example, you say a toxic boyfriend, a useless toxic boyfriend. You have to realize you have to get away from that. To I don't believe in useless toxic people, which is my whole fucking problem with Britney in the first place. So no, I don't think Britney is a toxic person. Oh my God, this is codependent person. at its finest. I, you think that you can I change do, her? I don't think you or Britney or Adolf Hitler or a Chud Logic are useless toxic people who should be dismissed so don't take don't take me saying that to mean like i don't have ethical problems with britney i'm just not going to say that as a result of having ethical problems with her that she's worthless and has never helped anybody that's not what i'm saying why did you say me after hitler wait a second why did you say that from i was going from most or at least to most racist okay just but you, but you would say that britney is like right she was right before hitler on that list though so she's pretty close she was before, was pretty close, yeah. But I mean, there wasn't anything in between Hitler and Brittany, just to be clear. True. Based. Right. Okay, so you're yeah, basically, listening, she's Hitler and Jason. The, mo the four most racist people I've ever heard of. <laughs> okay, I mean, that's fine. I'll take it. Hitler and Jason. I mean, you're right there. There's no one in between them, so that's fine. So, so, how, do, so how do we know that, how do we know that in like uh, five, 50 years, people are, aren't going to be like, what Brittany Simon told me? Really, what if she makes it into a into an empire and they're like Absolutely. this really helps people they won't be alive then, they'll all so, kill themselves yeah i mean so, come on get wait hold on wait 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 wait, wait. hold on wait wait wait, wait. can i wait can i real quick wait real quick hold on stop because this is a good question and it re requires a good answer okay because a lot of people don't understand why some types of relationships are unethical okay like why is it unethical for a person in power to proposition somebody that's not in power the reason why is because is it is it, it is impossible for every single person except 
except for the person making the proposition to realize that there's an unethical behavior that's occurring there. That's the issue. If I'm the boss of an employee and I proposition that employee, that employee doesn't know if they can say no without there being a punishment. Nobody external to this interaction can know that if the employee says no, there's not gonna be like a consequence for doing so. I'm the only one that knows that, meaning that me, the person who's trying to get the most out of the situation, is the only one that can ever know if an abuse is occurring. So even if you go through 20 of those situations where it could be a parent, it could be a parent-child, it could be a teacher-student, it could be a employer-employee situation, even if you go through 20 where all of them are positive, the issue is that that transaction is inherently unethical because nobody can, can actually figure out if there's a, a bigger like game being played than the person making the proposition. And so in Brittany's position, where even if we, this is Max's argument, even if we think that every person she sees does well, and even if everything goes fine and some people build an empire, blah, 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 the issue is that there are no ethical third parties that are evaluating her like relationships with other people and she's the only one that can truly know if any sort of exploitative behavior is going on. Even if all of them turn out okay, that situation alone makes it unethical. Just the situation itself, regardless of outcomes. That's, that, that's why we say statutory rape is rape. We don't say it's probably rape. Yeah. It's by definition. So do you think that ethics are objective? In this, yes. Once you write Max? them down, they are. Codified ethics. They're objective in the world. Ethics are objective. It's not a matter of like moral realism or not. It's a matter of like, how, how do we codify our, our collective moral agreements with each other? So True, in, but don't you think there are things that we don't even know yet? Doesn't like, matter. I, That's not relevant to this conversation. Yeah. That, that that wouldn't be a defense. Code of ethics might be I think wrong. that is relevant Absolutely. to the conversation. It's not because nobody- well, because be if I, if, if, wait, wait, Hold on real quick, because this is not a real conversation. If somebody were to say, should we be able to fuck three-year-olds? Would you say, well, maybe because ethics isn't like, objective fact would you ever say that no well no sure but i think that in the way that like you know mr girl has criticism for dr k and wanting to befriend his clients i like how do we know that that's not like we know that in the past that's been the way that the, we haven't done the, things but how do we know our, that that well, affects them okay so this is not an argument about what the what the correct ethics are is whether should do you think that we should come up with a code of ethics and then follow it and hold practitioners to it to give them licenses. So what code of ethics do you think a life coach should Do you have? think that we should do you think that we should have a code of ethics that we hold practitioners so to? So what code of ethics do you think a life coach should I'm not going to answer have? your question because I feel like you can't So what is doing what is Brittany doing wrong if you can't tell I, her what she's doing wrong? I'm not going to answer your question unless unless you answer mine. Do you think practitioners should have a code of ethics? Sure. Okay. That's not an so Wait, hold on. That's not an answer. It's got to be yes or no. It will kind of practitioner. Any Frog practitioner. Uh, I think when you're, I think when you're being paid to be a friend, that's different. So like, I, I wouldn't call Brittany a practitioner, but I would call like a okay. chiropractor a practitioner. It, it to be someone's about, friend who's doing that. Oh, okay, man. it sounds like you don't accept the premise that practitioners should have codes of ethics. No, and I do, accept, but I just don't think what I don't think it's relevant well, I asked, because I don't well, think Brittany It sounds like you're not it sounds like you're not it sounds like for the purpose of the conversation for some reason you're not willing to say you have that premise. So, I don't think No, I just told you that I did. I told you that I did, but Brittany is not a professional. Yes. That's interesting you mentioned that, but that's not the question I'm asking you. So you'll notice as you I as answered you your into, fucking question. Yes, as you venture as you venture into your Twitch career. Dude, you just don't want to answer there's, my question. Actually, you're, you're actually notice, moving, so you don't answer my question. That's hilarious. You're going to notice there's two types of people that you talk to. And, answer uh, my uh, fucking uh, question. When you're, as a streamer, a you're going to you're going to encounter two types of answer people. Answer my question. There's, tell me. Tell Brittany exactly what she's doing wrong and the ethics that she should live under. Okay, there's two types of people that you're going to encounter. One type is you ask them a question and they start trying to think ahead. What's the next question going to be? And then they lie about the answer to the current question, even an outrageous lie. Like, I don't think doctors should have a code of ethics. They'll say the dumbest fucking most retarded thing you've ever heard in your entire life because they're afraid of what the next question is going to be. And then you'll encounter people that are much easier to talk to and they'll just answer the fucking question. Okay, Max, so, I love you. you. Think, You're you nonsensical right now. Please answer the fucking question. Please. What code of ethics do you think a life coach should live by? I don't think life coaches should have a code of ethics written down because if they did, then they would just come up with a new name that doesn't have a code of ethics attached to it. So life coaches definitionally, whatever people want to give advice with no code of ethics. Okay, wait, hold on. That was not wait, a good faith answer to the question. Hold on, wait. What Max would say is that if you wanted to be a life coach, I would imagine, right? There needs to be some way to evaluate that the relationship is not exploitative. 
that 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 would be so whatever system of ethics you design like that would be so whether that is some sort of third party accountability whether it's that is some certification board or whatever there would have to be somebody that has a way of checking similar to it would probably look a lot similar to the code of ethics of a therapist except maybe they wouldn't have as stringent a qualification to like report suicidal people or deal with people with mental illness or refer people to psychiatry or something it'd probably be a little less than that, I, th but I think there. that would be I, I think that would be ideal but there's always going to be some class of people who just says yeah they're going to say i'm not a life coach i'm just a human coach or i'm just a human helper or something i understand but like if they was like a code of ethics right. for anybody in that class you'd want it to be probably similar to a therapist but a little bit less stringent because they shouldn't be prescribing or like t helping mentally ill people basically right yeah so did you say it should be an asking, unwritten code of ethics just to clarify yeah well I, so i think you're asking me two questions at the same time i'm One just clarifying is, your statement they, i thought i misheard potentially he said unwritten because he's saying that if it was written they would just try to get around it but he didn't mean that he was just saying that if you write it down they're gonna call themselves like human helpers next and then it wouldn't it'd be pointless but max insofar yeah, so, as if we could perfectly license life coaches yeah, oh, you would want perfectly, them to, yes, yes yes okay Yes, I, the perfect yes, the perfect thing would be if there was a person who could give you life advice or help you, who's not a therapist, but who is still overseen by some g governing body and is um, adhering to a code of ethics. But the reality is, if you do that, then yeah, you're going to come up with human helpers or whatever, some other class of people that says, well, we're not, we, we you can't, you can't stop people from charging each other money to give advice, essentially. So that's going to happen no matter what. So the so then the real question, Lav, is is given that Brittany, I think intentionally, is staying in a lane where there is no code of ethics, and that's just necessarily going to exist. But there's no the mandatory is, code of ethics for life coaches. No, that's, hold on. Right. Wait, stop, no, no, that's a bad path. That's the whole point. But the question was, should yes. there be some code of ethics for life coaches? Because Mr. Girl doesn't like them because he thinks that those relationships, identical to therapist relationships, or they have an identical problem and that they're prone to abuse. So, yeah. Okay, so you want life coaches to become professionals. Should they have mandatory training them, then as well? If you make them, pro the reality is, if you make them professionals, then another thing will spring up where people say, I'm not beholden to these rules, I'm a human helper. And human helpers are not beholden to any rules. And if you say, well, they should have a rule that's set, then they'll say, well, I'm an advice guy. And advice, so it, it, for, no matter so what. Nobody it, without it, so nobody oh without a God, degree. So nobody without a degree. Oh my God, you you need to be able to wrap your mind around this because it's not that fucking complicated. No matter what, no ma I, you, you need to understand better. the difference between a descriptive, a descriptive statement and a prescriptive <laughs> statement. I'm making a prescriptive statement. I'm saying I really wish since that the guidelines are not there either for YouTubers or streamers or content creators or for life coaches, I wish people would hold themselves or each other accountable in a moral way given that the, the, the safety guards are not there. Descriptively, they can't be there with term, in terms of people giving each other advice for money because that's always going to happen and it would be a totalitarian shithole country to live in if the government actually found a way to stop you from giving advice to people for money. Did you guys know that when I was 16, oh God. Uh, my parents were like really upset that I was like smoking pot and like bad. And they actually sent me to a therapeutic boarding school called the Academy at Swift River, where I lived outside for three months. And then after that, I had intense therapy for 18 months nonstop, even though I didn't need to have it. So I'm like a fucking wizard with this shit. Also, I have a psych D doctor, wife, when it comes to psychology. And I can tell you guys that you're all fucking weak sauce right now. As the most educated person, when it comes to this stuff, you need to move on. We need to try and move into something that's a little bit better. And I think Chud was just messaging me that he actually has some topics that he wants to bring up uh, specifically well, to you, Well, hold on, chill. Okay, wait, before we do like, the ultra uh, no, I, I feel, I feel, I feel no, like No, let them really resolve their shit. You, hold on, we're yeah. already using I've and abusing you. Stop, stop. This is literally, I'm gonna kick people. Stop, okay? If you wanna churn and burn these guys for content, which I'm totally okay with, by the way, I love using people for money, okay? But if you wanna do it, at the very least, give them some space to genuinely resolve conversations and differences rather than just moving to the next topic, okay? Jesus Christ. Okay. So to understand you, you want people, streamers, anyone who gives advice to hold themselves accountable to their standards. 
the issue is that these unwritten standards, and I get that you want them to be critiqued by other people in the space and therefore respond to it to some degree. That would be your ideal. I know you're not saying that that has to happen, but this is what you're describing would be the best situation. The problem with all of these unwritten code and ethics and stuff like that is that no one's going to agree. That is why people unironically call you like a psychopath and a murderer and like a pedophile and all sorts of things and then call other streamers other things. This like unwritten code of ethics that you're like kind of suggesting. I agree sounds really great, but like we can't just codify everything. Okay, hold on. I just wanted to well, say this. Is, wait, there's like, wait, there's like 15 codify. seconds. Because you, I think Erudite, you agree with Mr. Girl 100% of this, okay? Listen to me, okay? Let's say that I started selling life advice things, okay? Let's say that I... Jesus, lad. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, let's say that I start selling life coaching lessons, okay? I open a Patreon and I do it for $300 each, okay? And let's say that every single girl client that messages me, I start a sexual relationship with them because I'm a big streamer and they're paying me for it and they're mind fucked. Do you think that arrangement should ever be possible? Definitely, definitely not, but how do we actually manage that? How do you manage it for anything? If there is an exchange uh, of money for some sort of like personal consultation or whatever, should that not call under like some kind of ethical consideration for that type of arrangement? We've got organizations in the United States that that uh, that regulate lotteries. I can't hold raffles for only subscribers because it's a form of lottery. Um, we've got uh, things for therapists and doctors, and and we mm -hmm. you know there's all of HIPAA. There's patient uh, confidentiality or there's a client confidentiality for lawyers. There's tons of different like formalized like codes of like if you do this, then you have this type of relationship. So to be as charitable as possible to what Mr. Girl would want, if you are offering money to somebody in a one-on-one -on -one setting in exchange for some kind of advice, should that not call into it some sort of ethical consideration? Or should I be able to churn and burn fangirls that want to pay me $300 for one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions? Because I think it's only one or the other. Yes. I think you have to choose one or the other. Yes, obviously, uh, obviously ethics have to come into it. The issue that I'm having is Brittany's not even giving people advice. So I'm no, not really sure how well, this maps onto Brittany. But that's part of what she can do is give people advice, right? Like putting oh, together the puzzle is what she said, right? I, I do have a question. What's the difference between this and like advice and confessions with Mr. Girl? Because those are one, done publicly, which is way different. Uh -huh. Two, there's no exchange of money there. And then three, he's open about the type of interaction that's happening there. He doesn't sell himself as a therapist or a psychologist or whatever. It, now, it could still be prone to abuse. It could be. But I would argue that the safeguards, the rails on that are the fact that oh, that whole interaction is public. If he was doing something, I don't know if he does do this, um, but if he was doing something where people were sending him private messages afterwards and then he was maintaining that no. relationship onwards, no. that would yeah be a much different thing. And yeah, I'm sure he would agree with that, that that would be a much different thing. Um, and I then just don't also, understand. They're, they're, also, I? they're also anonymous. They're also anonymous. And I also only talk to them once once each for 10 to 20 minutes. Well, I agree that I, there are ethical questions about me doing that, absolutely. And I think I should be held accountable by my peers and you should you should grill me about it because it, it could potentially be very fucked up. But I do think those are pretty significant differences. Yeah. So basically we're wanting to establish some sort of code of ethics basically for all non-professionals who give any level of advice in any public No, manner. no, that is a, no. You see, you always create this fucking extremely elaborate, hyper-specific straw man. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying I have three ethical problems with what Brittany does and I think she should fix them. And then if you say, well, do you think there should be a code of ethics? And I say, well, I guess it would be good if there was one. And then you're like, what? Well, so, okay, so now, so now that's your position, Max. And it's like, no, that's not, that's not what I came in here to say. That's not my position. I, like, I, I kind of think that. I think that we have an unprecedented, unprecedented amount of power and influence um, and direct one-to-one -one private access with people who worship us that is, that's never really happened before. And I think that the platforms need to figure out how to stop us from abusing these people. Okay, I don't so know you... what that looks like. I don't know what that looks like, and I don't know what the code of ethics should be. But I, I know right now all we have is each other. Yeah, so and something when, real quick I... on this, because I, I, like I said, I think we all agree with this, okay? Um, I don't want to pull out the philosophy debate bro shit, but it, erudite, what it feels a little bit is like we're pushing on this the concept of a nirvana fallacy, where I think we all agree that these are probably potentially abusive relationships that maybe we could create safeguards for, but I don't think anybody here right now is going to be able to give you an ironclad list of like, these are the seven rules found at the end of the death note that will be the hardcore restriction. Yeah, I don't think anybody can do that. That's fair. But it just seems My like there should yeah. probably be some kind of guidance on it would be Max's argument. For sure. I agree. Yeah. The issue that I have with Max specifically is that he comes in, decides what the ethics are objectively, hounds them forever, will never move off of what they are, and he's already decided before he came in what they should be and that these are right. And I'm saying that seems a little bit silly to hold Brittany to those specific things because you're well, also I, okay. not moving on anything. Okay, here's... so. To put it to you, 
Is there a code of ethics anywhere, objectively, that says I shouldn't do what you just said I'm doing? <laughs> no. Obviously. Then why are you telling me not? Then why are you calling me out for it? If there's no code, it's not been established objectively by any group of people. Why can you call me out for doing that? It seems like the answer is you just fucking think it. You came in, you saw me doing this, you thought it was wrong, and so when you see somebody doing something wrong, you speak up and say something about it just because you think it's wrong. Yes, I understand okay. that. Great, that's the exact same thing I'm doing. I think what Brittany is doing is wrong. And then when question, when people start running interference for her, and everybody on the panel seems to have a different fucking reason why they want to run interference for her, I, I am defending myself very, or, or I guess putting forth my, my claim very aggressively, but that's not to say it's, a, it's an objective fact. This is These are the ethical qualms I have. I keep saying, I have three ethical problems with what you're doing, and I'm trying to lay them out as succinctly and... Uh, clearly as I possibly can. And so what I'm, I'm doing, to... I'm hearing those things. And I was clarifying yeah. some of them, and now I'm posing questions with the three things that you've outlined and saying, I don't no, know if you're those are fucking... super valid. No, no, you're not, you're not. You're, you're posing straw man questions, and you're trying to trap me into saying there is a code of conduct, or code of ethics. You're gonna say, well, no, where I'm is not. it? And you're gonna say, then you're gonna say, then you're gonna say, you're gonna say, you're gonna say, okay, now you're saying there should be one, or blah, 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 blah. And, and, but all I'm saying is, I think, that what Brittany is doing is fucked up and she shouldn't do it. It's much easier to say, I okay, see somebody doing so something that, that they shouldn't do. That they sh ask clarifying questions. Literally half the time. You're, I'm they're not like, really clarifying questions. Saying? I think, I think they're bullshit saying? questions. I don't is think they're real questions. I get that you don't like them, but they're not straw man questions. I'm literally they asking are. you. I say, Max, no, is this what you're they saying? They are fake lie questions. They're not honest. They're straw I would also, and I would be really careful, Max, because in a way you're kind of doing Earlier, you actually correctly pointed out that like, um, I'll be arguing with conservatives and I'll be like, should we care about fellow human beings? And they'll be like, they're trying not to answer because obviously the answer is yes, but they don't want to answer the question because they know that I'm probably leading into another question. So they'll fight me on the first question. That's kind of what you're doing with Kyla. A little bit. Did I get that name um, right? You did. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, what question do you think I should answer that I'm not answering? I don't. I think this whole line of questioning is dumb. But if you're going to not engage, I think you have to completely not engage. But when you say like, I know where you're going with this question, you're kind of falling into the same trap earlier that you accuse other people. And I understand okay, why you're saying fair. it. But yeah, you're but, um, literally just okay. saying, I'm a demon woman. I'm trying to manipulate you, so I'm trying to get away from these questions and avoid. Well, no, no, hold on. He's not calling you a demon woman. He's saying you're walking That's him into fair. a nirvana fallacy. Okay, sure. Woman. You're walking him into a nirvana fallacy where he can't give an exact answer. So you're gonna feel like that undermines his whole point. When, when just like you don't have, you're not criticizing him from this like rock solid place of ethics. Like you know the APA manual page. 37 says it, right you're not doing it you're doing because you have a sense of justice uh, but you feels like it's right and he feels the same way about it right yeah. i think i think there's a difference between saying your question is fucking stupid and a lie and i'm going to answer the question dishonestly sure but you're like i'm not i'm not I'm answering the i'm not i'm not answering the question i'm saying that your question is a dishonest lie so i don't think that is quite the same thing that i was saying earlier okay okay all right okay let, okay now before we continue on with this I want to give everybody an opportunity if, because I know Brittany, you got pulled in here while you're high, live, you're chilling. If anybody wants to exit at any time, you guys are good to do so without anybody getting mad or upset. Just putting that out there in the air, okay? And then. Am I needed here? What? Am I needed here? Uh, no, I'm, you can take off if you want, you're, unless somebody really wants to interrogate you for a couple more minutes or whatever. No. I mean, I don't mind being here, but I just, I want to make sure I'm being useful. Otherwise, I'll leave. Oh, you can do whatever the fuck you want. The next um, topic, I think, is going to be very relevant to you, so. Before before you leave, Brittany, if you do end up leaving, I do want to say that uh, I did come in a little hot, and I'm sorry for that. Um, I do not think all the things that Max thinks. Obviously, there are some parts where I definitely disagree with you. Once I when I saw your videos, I was like, okay, I would prescribe this for myself. Overall, though, it sounds like you know you are smart enough to know what you're doing and to like. Uh, Wait, you know, which of the three things that most reduce of, which of my three Thank you so much, Max, for your input. Which of my Let three, me speak. Which of my three criticisms do you disagree with? It seems with, like you are smart enough I'm, to I'm, I'm do super, harm I'm reduction. Super, I'm just super, I'm I love super curious. curious. I'm a big I'm super fan. curious. Lab. I'm super and curious. I'm very sorry. Do you disagree with? You know, Dr. Lindsay Doe, her video on harm reduction, one of my favorites. I highly recommend it. But yeah, thank that's you. great. I really appreciate it. That's great. And I think if you're helping people, then you're fucking helping people, and uh, we can all hope to help people in this life. That's what we're here for. Ditto, girly. I feel the same. Cool. 